Um, so I guess first to Mr. Graham, if he's still here, I don't know, but he, I've heard him use that pencil analogy before. The reason the pencil analogy doesn't work is because the pencil is actually, is actually a physical object. So you're holding the pencil in your hand and you're saying, why is this not blah, blah, blah? Well, it's a physical thing that's tangible. You touch it, you put it in the water, whatever. It's the the problem, the reason that it doesn't work is because even though the ground is physical, and well, I don't know if you'd say the sky is physical. I don't know. You say it's the atmosphere or whatever. Um, but those two things aren't actually touching. Therefore, there's no physical, you know, tangible yeah, thing happening. They're, of course, they're they're here's the touching. thing. That's defraction, I, not refraction. That's refraction, man. That's correct. Um, okay, so hold on. Just, I'm not done. Sorry. Yeah, I just addressed this, though. Well, so, well, hold on. But, okay, so if you – I would, I, I like to use the train track example, okay? If you look at a train track and you look all the way out to the quote unquote horizon, are those train tracks physically converging in and touching each other? No, that, that yeah, is so not, zoom no, in. they're not, that, that, they're not. And that's an optical effect, just like the horizon is an optical effect. Thank no, you very much. No, it's not right, just like that though, is it? Because the air and the ground are touching each other. So it's not. No, they are. not how are they not? They are. How is the air not touching the ground? Are you saying well, there's a vacuum on the ground or something? I mean, of course it's touching the ground. So the air is the sky. This is objective, yes. as Witsit would say. Okay, you don't, Jim. I'm not yelling, dude. You don't. He's gone. You don't he have to yell. He was trying to be anymore. funny, dude. Relax. It's not really. Well, Chris, yelling. Chris Berry, didn't you hear that guy? I was yelling. I have sensitive hearing. I know that's fine, man. I, I responded to what you turn just, your volume down. I responded to what you just said. Chris. I have to turn everyone down. Okay, it's it's fine. No one, no one's yelling. Uh, I responded to what you just said before you said it, but you didn't, you didn't address it at all. Uh, I had said if you I didn't hear you. On the ground, yeah, if you had buoys on the surface of the water, all on the all on the water, uh, there would be a position. Though, there would be a specific buoy that would be the last one you could see, and there'd be one more behind it that you would not be able to see, and there'd be a position in between those two buoys, and that position would be where the horizon was. So this is not. It's not uh, what. It's not. It's defining actual. The horizon is 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 actual water. It's actually the last bit of water that you can see. This is just a real no, thing. No, no. It's like the no, pencil is a real thing. No, like show, no. No. The second yes. you go to that buoy, you're no long. That's no longer the horizon, is it? It's still the horizon for the original server. Right. Right, it's still the horizon for the original. Kosho, Kosho, can you look at my screen real quick, Kosho? You said that. <laughs> I just want to oh. quickly get uh, before before we lose Chris Chris Berry. You must have heard about Ranty's uh, switch. Yeah, Do you have on, any uh, opinions on on the photo he saw? Is it enough to it, is it but enough no, to convince no, you no, that the Earth is a ball? What's your opinion on why he changed his mind? Can you ask he didn't change his mind. I have so I, I have a private message from Ranty. He did not change his mind. He's still a flat earther. Yeah. Yes. I told you. I, I, not I told you. Let's see. Let's see. No, this he's problem. taking the piss <laughs> out of everyone. Just real fast. I told you. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. Okay. No, it's full of piss. Thank you, Chris. He's taking the piss out of both sides. It's a, it's a black. <laughs> he's, he doesn't like the black swan for some reason. And he's calling this thing the white swan. I don't know. The blank swan. You're Thank full you. of shit, dude. You, you know you are. Okay. Do you do you know that on Friday, Randy himself got on his old show, Brandon's, and, and said, and I quote, he said, I and I quote, I am a flat earther, and seven over six R refraction is nonsense. You know, he came in here yesterday and specifically said that people were saying it was all a wind up, and he and he yeah. came in here to tell us that it uh -huh. was not a wind up. So you're See, saying Friday? Friday he said he's a flat earther and seven six uh, terrestrial refraction is nonsense. And a day later he's completely changed his mind. You think that's actual reality? Yes. <laughs> okay. I have, well, a, I have a I well, have a comment. You, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A, if you want to kid yourself, if you want to kid yourself that that's what him happened, here. you can kid yourself. That I have that's a message happened. from him from this but morning. It, but it's very obvious that that is not what happened. I have a message from him from this morning, which is after yet your your. Oh, go on, now, what, does that, what does that message say? His message from this morning says, and I quote, terrestrial refraction is nonsense, but I hope to disprove with a new theory. So how can you be a glober and not believe in terrestrial refraction? If you don't have terrestrial refraction as a glober, your ball is dead. And Ranty knows that. He's not stupid. 
Okay, so where in that does he say, actually, I was Is winding them up. I'm actually a flat earther. I'm not really a glober. Where in that? Th that's all stuff that you've added in yourself, isn't it? Uh, it's my opinion that he's not a glober right, based on his way. answers, based on his no, response. No, he hasn't said that at all. He said terrestrial refraction is nonsense. You cannot say that if you're a glober. I also specifically asked him, is he trolling? Are you really a glober? He did not answer that question. Why didn't he answer that specifically? Right. So why did you pretend that he had answered that question and uh, had confirmed to you that he was trolling? In my mind, he has. Right. In okay. my mind, it's flat. But in actuality, he hasn't. Um, actuality, depends on how you read into round. his statement that terrestrial refraction is nonsense. On Friday, he said that. He said on Friday, well, I'm a flat Why do we need to read on. into his statement? Why do we re need to Why are you read interrupting? In why do we need to read into his statement when you asked him directly? You've just told us you asked him directly and he didn't uh -huh. respond. So why and do we need to make stuff yeah. up? For a reason. If he was a Glober, he would have responded to me and said, yeah, I'm a Glober now. It's, it's cool. No, See you later. Wouldn't. Yeah. Oh, he wouldn't. <laughs> hey, listen, he's taking the piss. How much do you want to bet? How reason. much do you want to bet then? At what? That that like, we can put a time limit on it. On it that I Ranty is going to do. A, Ranty. That Ranty's going to do another reversal. I don't know what Ranty's. Let's say are. within. Let's say within a month. Okay. His, his, he is, maybe he's he, looming. You get everything out. You know, I want to. I want to tackle that looming here. Maybe he's just shortly. looming right now, and he'll 50, be back. Fifty quid, Chris. What do you reckon? <laughs> no, every time I make a bet with the Glober, I never get paid. It's just a fact. I win all How my bets. Fifty. I, Brenda <laughs> lost. That's Brenda not, lost a thousand really dollars. Bet. Hold on, Brenda that's lost. Up the lost. It's a squid. Yeah, but I'm not saying a thousand dollars. I'm I'm saying fifty. No, but I'm just telling you, Brenda's that's lost. That's an amount I'm likely to pay. I've, right? I've won against. I'll pay. give you three off the top of my head. I've beaten on bets because y'all just don't know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, but I bet about. they're all silly amounts of money that no one was ever gonna pay. No, like fifty dollars, five dollars, million dollars. Uh, Blue, right. Blue Marvel right. Science yes. lost a bet. Five dollars. Okay. Uh, you're obviously not. You're obviously not. John G lost a bet. You're obviously not as sure about your position as I am about mine. I'm pretty okay, confident, so. um, but it is my it is my <laughs> a theory that I have because you're right. He didn't come out and say, which yeah. is very odd. Um, by the way, it's odd that someone on Friday says I am a flat earther. Terrestrial fraction is nonsense. He then goes on on that same show to say Mick West made it up himself, and then supposedly the next day he come out and said he's a glober because of one photo that they're calling the white swan. My theory is I don't know why he's doing it. He doesn't like the black swan. Maybe he doesn't like the fact that the F, some of the FE people are putting all their eggs in that basket, whatever. So he's coming out and saying, oh, well, I have this white swan photo, so now I'm a global. <laughs> so in other words, no, it, using the same logic that you guys are using. And if that's so, well, that's fine. No, that's not very logical, dude, because the, very white logical. Swan, the, the black swan is, what, 18 months old now or something like that. You say It's it still took, being talked about. It, yes. it took him 18. It, that pisses me off so much. I'm going to respond in 18 months. It's, it's still being <laughs> talked about to this day. <laughs> That There's doesn't great. make it's almost forgotten about. Come on. When he said the white swan, it wasn't in reference to the black swan. It was just in reference to that this observation that that, that place was called Black uh, was called Blackpool. Right. Uh, and it's just in reference to that place. And his claim was it looks like this every day, is what he was saying. So it looks no, like it's that, day, so it's not a black swan, it's like a white swan. Oh it's like yeah. A, yeah. Thing. So that's, that's yeah. kind of that's, that's kind of right. He he kept so first of all, that was a very strange conversation. He kept bringing up Bev. For some reason, saying Bev, oh Bev, he goes. Bev says this is this is what it looks like all the time, and this is the white swan. So no, they're using they're using this as a as a uh, to take the piss out of the black swan. That's really all it is. I think that was Bev's quote. Is why. Yep. What was Bev's quote? The white swan thing was Bev's quote. I think Bev is the one who flipped him to be a baller, actually, because of his uh, stupidity. It's so hardcore. He just like finally was like, you know what? Ugh. It was stupid. Uh, uh, Owen says, Ranty is an irredeemable in half. Sorry, Ranty is an irredeemable scumbag, and he will never return to what you enjoyed back in the day ever. Breath or what the fuck is that? Believe in whatever is convenient to them in the moment. Ranty is a deep state sellout. Oh, poor Ranty. You know, it's funny. It's Bev throws his son under the bus for this uh, this picture. 
it's his crazy. Son? I am. Yeah, because he, he says, I was like, I heard uh, this is your picture, Ben. He's like, it's not my picture. My son took the picture. He just points and clicks. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, man. He's like, I mean, he, he tried <laughs> to do this thing about what did he, what did he say? Children being attacked or something, and then said, "Oh well, actually, he's quite a big boy, really." He said, "My," he referred to him as "my little boy," I think. It he's was he's like trying to say that he stole it. He didn't ask permission to use it, and he stole it from from his son. I was like, "Dude, was it online? If it was on the internet. It's not stealing." Oh, that was it. Yeah, stealing from children was the was yeah. What he was when his son's like in his Jesus. fucking thirties or whatever. Wait, what? <laughs> His son's in his in his well, not his thirties, but he's not a child. Oh he's my an goodness! Adult. He's an adult. This is the yeah. kid that he's talking about this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. About why he got that in this letter? What? Oh, has he got? To, has he got another one? Yeah, he's got a young one as well. Oh, so oh, maybe it's a young one. Then. But you said he only has one, or he's got another one? He's got two children. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, yeah, he said he got into the flutter because of his kid. But yeah, back to the refraction thing. I don't know. Chemo, you're such an asshole, dude. But um, uh, yeah. But what were you saying, Don? You're trying to show something. Oh, Don left. Oh, no, no right I'm right there. here. Right there. Okay, you at the top. So wait, what were you talking about? You, I'm looking at your screen. Yep, looming right here. So this is looming. Please explain to me about this ship right here. What's causing this to ha happen? Uh, what exactly is happening? I can't. I can't really. See. I don't have a clear. I'm just doing full screen. Uh, looks like it's a uh, what do you call it, a Feta Morgana. Okay, so what's causing this? Is that like uh, <laughs> part of the sky being mirrored? I can't hear you. What'd you uh, say? Is that is that like part of the, part of the sky being mirrored onto the water? Yeah, mirrored with the ship. There's another ship back here as well, okay. and over here, and down here. All right. So is this refraction making this boat lift up over a curve? Or is that still the apparent horizon? Water looks like it's a uh, reflection and refraction. So Dark. it's not. So it's not making this right? physically lift up over a curve. No, I think it's making it's making the uh, making the sky look like it's mirrored up to the water. So it's just like an optical illusion. That sounds like that's what Lumin is then. Fade and Morgana, I think, is a little bit different than Looming, if I could be wrong. Yeah, Don, it's not Looming. Looming just brings... Well, when I type in little... Looming, that's what pop, pops up. Yeah, awesome. you could type Thanks. in a lot of things. It doesn't mean that that's exactly what that is. Yeah. People use that, that those kind of images as examples of what they think Looming is supposed to look like, as opposed to actually getting photos of what Looming is. If you can type in your favorite dessert, a cream pie, you might not get images of what you expect. Either. This is a very, very good point there, Grim. Did dipshit leave? It says loom, looming and similar refraction phenomena do not produce mirages. But it says mirages show an extra image uh, or images of the mirage object. So looming, towering, or sorry, uh, while looming, towering, stooping, and sinking do not. So it's saying that that, that Fata Morgana and the uh, looming aren't the same thing. Well, isn't it the water being refracted, turning yeah, into both glass? Light phenomenon. One of them has different, you know, parameters than the other. <laughs> oh, oh, blooming. The best way to think of it is like things are going to appear where they're supposed to appear if there's no refraction. But if there's refraction, then the light that would ordinarily be going up over your head. Like let's say there's a hill between you and some fucking object, and the light coming off that object is going in all directions, and some of that direction is up over the hill, up over your head. The refraction is uh, bending the light back down, so you can see that um, object that would be beyond the hill. That gives you the impression, uh, that gives you the accurate uh, impression that you're actually seeing beyond that hill, because you are, because of the bending of the light. <clears throat>
but that's that's basically women. I think the Rantia episode is a lot more interesting at this minute. I mean, is um is he really a Glober? Do you believe that? It looks like the Globers are buying it hook, line, and sink. I don't buy it whatsoever. I was, I was taught not to talk about somebody who wasn't in the room, you know, due to simple, you know, respect things. So why don't we invite Ranty in and have a discussion with him? Ranty's I have I have done. <laughs> Jim is panicking. Oh my god, that's that's serious. I don't buy it whatsoever. Well, why I don't know how... panicking? I I sent him a message yesterday oh. after one of you fucking nutters drove him out of here, accusing him of being a shill. Brian Mabbit. Right. That's when I sent him a message. It's not panic. It was politeness. Courtesy. Yeah. Oh, of course. You would have wanted to speak to him. Of course. Yeah. No. I wanted him not to be driven out of my server by a lunatic that was panicking. Brian Mabbit. <laughs> I think I, I think a lot of the flat earthers were in shock, though, initially. Like, if it was... Yeah, they are desperate. I think they're struggling. I'm not in shock. I don't know how one photo can convince somebody. Something's well, out of foot. I don't, struggling. I don't think and one photo did. No, absolutely. And that's why my theory applies, because he's just going to say, oh, well, one photo called the Black Swan converted a lot of flat earthers, and that's what you use as your proof. That's why I think he's doing it. Yeah, I, I, think, don't, I don't... I don't, I don't. No, go ahead, Josh. I've said a lot. No, I talked to I talked to um, conspiracy cats about this actually, also. But um, you know, from our point of view, uh, Tris, from our point of view, I think that for this, I think I, when flat earthers have this type of um, confrontation, it's more of a personal confrontation. It's not really. Um, I, I think from the way you guys are viewing it, is like this is a new globe proof. And it's being, you know, used, uh, you know, sp widespread, and it's about to be spread from conspiracy cats or something like that. But this is like, uh, this is Ranty's own personal confrontation with this um, observation, and that's why I think it's compelling, is because it's not something that he's really being confronted with. It's almost like he confronted, he's confronted with it himself, like, and he's focused on it himself. And I think, um, I don't think he plans to like spread it, you know, as as some kind of Low proof or anything. I think he's just, he's used it for himself to kind of, you know. So, so let me book. ask you. So you're let just me ask you a question. Him, his his idea there, Kosho, because that that would that's help right. him. That's right. Lead him to believe the same thing he already believes that he just well, making this up to fool you. Guys. Not not just that, but let me ask you a question. You don't think over the last five years that Ranty Flat Earth has been doing this? He hasn't seen a photo that purports to show Earth curve. And this one right. all of a and sudden that's why changed his mind. It, that you, guys keep, you guys keep saying this, but you guys are not looking at what's been going on. You're just ignoring it all. This what are we ignoring? This isn't the result of one photograph. This has been happening a long time. People in, in this community rely on this community. And this community, bits of it, your bit of it, rejected... Um, ranty twice first what? of all yes first of all there was the whole there was the thing with quantum eraser where he all he did was ask quantum eraser to support what he was saying because that's what quantum eraser demands of everything else and he was attacked for that that was and about then the pokeballs balls and the light and that <laughs> right and then basically uh, ejected from that little that little group of, of flat earth and he set up his own thing. He did his started. So he's got it out for flat earth. Listen, you're saying. listen, started doing his own thing True, with, with his theory. debate show, and look what happened there. Gets attacked again over this super chat business, and another chunk of flat earthers reject him. So it, 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 you lot did this to him. You lot. Uh, no, don't overgeneralize, you please. You lot threw him out of don't bits, overgeneralize. Of, of bits of your community. Seems like, though, and on the last one, on the well, last I have responses. Hang on, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. there. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there with this. And on the last one, on the super chat one, some of the people that rallied round him were from this side of the fence, <laughs> saying that he'd been treated unfairly. And I think all of these things are things that have contributed 
toward to, to this thing. And I think the the final the final thing, I guess, is the fact that financially he was forced to extract himself from the community a fair amount because he's got to go and get a job and do do normal stuff. And then he starts oh, hanging Lord. around with normal, regular people. He's out of the YouTube bubble. And, and he starts to see clearly and see what a load of bollocks this is. That's what's happened. This is this Obviously, picture is just yeah. a hook to hang it on. All right, I can make respond it easier. to all these, these comments. It's, it's a way to make it easier for you guys, guys to understand. Sure Caution, yeah, go, quick. Go ahead. I want to hear from Chris. Whoa, so whoa, whoa. Shit. It's Chris. Just, just, wait, 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 Chris. David. No, no, no. First, I just Chris, first, Chris, Barry. First, Chris, Barry. That didn't require too many cooks. David, let her... Let Chris respond to Jim here. So, everything you just said lends credence towards my theory that if that's true, and I'm not saying it is, that that mean that means Ranty is angry at the Flat Earth community, yep. and he's taken he's trying to take the piss out of them. So that that lends credence to my theory. However, I have fine correspondence with Ranty. I've never been on the outs with Ranty. If I was, if I ha had been on the outs with him at all. He would never respond to my message at 12.42 a.m. this morning, Central Time, okay, to respond to my questions about all this. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is, does he have outs with the o Oakley crew and, and Quantum? Probably. Does he have other issues with certain flat earthers? Probably. Um, I've had squabbles with Quantum Eraser personally myself, but I still go there every once in a while. Um, so if Franti's got a little bit escalated, that that's a different situation. But... Um, nothing that you said lends credence to the fact that he's now a Glober. That's just yeah. Nothing. The fact. There's one thing I have to add. Oh, this is Grim. I just want to say one thing. Does Renty expect you to be telling us about your private messages with him? Well, I don't really care because if he's if I'll he's just, lying to it. both sides, if he's lying to both sides, then I think that's wrong. I, I want to know why he's doing it. Well, I think you're ignoring that I mean, you're saying that doesn't lend credence to him being a glober. And the reason you don't think he's a glober is because one photo wouldn't change his mind. Right. Well, the, the whole point is that I'm making is that those were the things that led to him being a glober. That that they're, they're the, at least the start of it. Uh, this photo, so, this photo is just fair, a straw. not not completely, but is fairly irrelevant to to his decision so no, that's an interesting that response and you could see it you could see it coming a long time ago that's right. an interesting response so on friday three days ago when he got on his old show and said and i quote i am a flat earther and seven over six are terrestrial refractions nonsense was he lying when he said that Is well he just a he big was... liar now well it, 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 according to you he's gonna be isn't he one way or another I don't have any problem saying that he said things that aren't true. I have no problem. All right, so he's lying. he's lying. Well, so you're he, saying he's lying. Well, you can you can click the link in the chat and hear him say yesterday that he isn't bullshitting. So one of those statements has to be untrue, doesn't it? Because they are completely contradictory. So we know he's told a lie. That's absolutely without any doubt. There you go. Which one is it? That's yeah. What we're I, I Chris is making a mistake. Case, All right. So, so Chris, I... Chris is making a mistake here by assuming this. The fact that Ranty doesn't give much weight to seven over six R doesn't mean anything with respect to his position on the shape of the Earth. He right. may just think that's a poor argument. You know, it's not really him contradicting himself. Right. The only yeah, thing you well, do... you have to have. You have to have the, that the, the thing you do have a point on. The, the thing you do have a point on is on Friday. Then he was on Brandon's, and he said he was still a flat earther. Yes, but this is in a build up to his big reveal with cats and Ruhiv, isn't it? Right. So he's so going to keep what doesn't that. Doesn't make sense. No, no, because he's keeping it to them to do the big reveal on right. the, the plan well, show. He, he was taking the piss out of Mick West. He was going off on Mick West. How Mick West he came up with this. He still may not like Mick West, right? And he may st that he that may still be his his position. This isn't something. It, it, considering where Ranty's been with this, the journey he's been on, it isn't gonna be an overnight complete conversion. He isn't gonna be one of us now. He isn't a glober. He just believes the Earth's not. Well, he believes the Earth's. Uh, apparently spherical but he's that a global doesn't then. make him a, 
doesn't really make him a global. Why? Shock him. But he doesn't have to well, buy because, all the arguments, does he? Because there's, wanna... there's, there's globers, flat earthers, and there's everybody else, isn't there? <laughs> that everybody else, most of them, believe the Earth's a globe. But it doesn't really make them globers. Believes in, in the I sense that I'm that. using the word today on this occasion, I'm talking about the people who are involved in the argument. I, I'll put it this way. If he's, not, if he's not faking being a glober, then I will be totally, absolutely shocked and surprised just based on the last few days' events, like I said. I mean, it just doesn't make a lick of sense to come on a show, your old show Friday, Ask everyone if they're a Glober, Flat Earther, and if they believe in terrestrial refraction. And then when he's asked by Brandon, he says, I am, and he said, I am a Flat Earther. Terrestrial refraction is nonsense. And the very next day, go on and say, oh, this one picture, and Bev says it's a white swan, so therefore I'm a Glober now. It makes no sense. The story you're telling isn't what happened. You're ignoring most of what happened and then saying... This it doesn't make sense. Well, if you, it, of course, it doesn't because you're ignoring well, most even of what you said, he would have already pronounced himself a Glover on Friday or before. Why? Friday. Why? Said, Why? Why? Reveal, right? Give it he wants to reveal, reveal, reveal it from that big show with Rue Hiff and Cats. Yeah, but I don't even think it's it. on Brandon's. Chemo is this, does Chemo have a fake account in here or something? No, 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 but I don't think that it's in uh. Like it's oh, that's you. Oh, Christopher, you said... All right. No, right. Not I don't you, think it's a bleak not thing, you, the, the Scottish Chris. Oh, okay, my bad. Christ. I'm going to try to say this for the 18th time. But, um, yeah, I don't think that it's a, um identity thing. Or I don't think it's a belief thing. Like, when he says, I'm a flat earther, I think it's an identity thing. Um, so, I, I don't think it's, he's being dishonest by on Friday saying, I'm a flat earther in this context. And then on Saturday saying... Yeah, I'm starting to think, you know, they can't be, this can't be, uh, the way this observation makes sense is that it has to be a globe, I guess. Yeah, I mean, because the fact that he's a flat earther. What are you talking about? He's the fact that he's a flat earther moment. is not necessarily a... Um, it's got nothing to do with that, Kershaw. It's not because he identified as a flat earther on Friday and then changed yeah. his mind <laughs> on Saturday, <laughs> is it? You don't understand what I'm saying. So that's, that's exactly what you uh, said, and I say that's bollocks. That's, that's great, like, Gary. Then argue with your my conversation in your head somewhere else, because that's not what I'm saying. That is exactly I'm what saying, you said, Kershaw. That's not what I'm saying, Gary. What I'm saying is that uh, he, he, him saying that, like him saying I'm a flat earther, is like um, who, what he's been for the past five years. You know what I mean? So like, just because he doesn't believe that anymore, it's like... By you know nomenclature, he's not a flat earther anymore. But in reality, you know he's a flat earther. By you know, let me tell you, he's not a flat earther because he's boarded out with the closest people in the environment that were the sh in a strong position, and he's had enough. Okay, he's been thinking about backing out anyway because he thinks it's a toxic place. He's not into the toxicity. See that when he uh, moved to his channel, he right. wanted freedom of speech. He wanted mm. borders to have their say. In. Nothing to do with his low birth age. Ranty has answered this picture. He's experimented with this picture. He did the paint thing. Remember, the paint thing was lower in the background. He did it with the salt water, sugar water test. So he knows the answer to why the mountain is lower in the background. Something else is going on. That's um. Hey, he sees no, the world. It's simple. It's he simple. Sees the world different. I've been waiting. Go ahead, Don. Sorry. Okay, so. Let's just say if Bev's uh, listening, it'll be kind of cool. But let's just say he gets a drone, right, and goes to the elevation of that tower, right, and then looks out, changing his elevation. Would the observation change? Yes. Mountains in the background would still be higher than the tower. Yeah, okay, so I haven't done it yet, though. We need to do that. We need to do that. It's been done, but that wasn't the, the, the tower was higher than the mountain, though. Okay, so, but still, send a drone up in the same location that person was, right? The same height as the tower, and then look out. I mean, why is this difficult? The light from the mountain is bending down difficult. through a denser medium, creating the illusion of it being lower. What's so difficult about this? Okay. 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 conditions of atmosphere means that we have looming, not sinking. And that would mean oh, that Black no, Hole would have to be an incredibly trust. special place. Oh, let him do it. Kimo should go do it. It's easy. It's trivial. Go do it, Kimo. Yeah. Ranty's yes. done it already with his fish oh. tank test. 
Well, no, he is not just what about you, sir. Go ahead. No, well, Kimo's lying. He hasn't gone there with a the drone. I didn't say yes, it. Was it was you said that that's me. what should be done. So you should go do it. Yes, I see, I, that would help. I, I see this as a tactic, though, um, and it's a tactic we see deployed very regularly. Sorry, Curved, I'll just get this out. And I, it, it, it's that, you know, a piece of evidence is presented and it, it's, it's this sort of feigned, reasonable, oh, well, I would accept it if only you went and did this, jumped through this impossible set of hoops for me in addition to this, then I'll accept it. It's... <laughs> You well, know, that'd be mind blowing, right? If it was still taller than the mountains. Don, normally when you look at a photo, you accept mm -hmm. its contents at, at yep. face at face value. We right. don't normally we say, look, this thing over here is taller than this thing over here. We don't go, oh well, it might not be. This could be some optical effect. We need to go and get a drone to make sure. We don't do that because I, I really true. want to hear. Don, yeah, Don, sorry, Don, sorry, sorry, Kev, getting there. Sorry, sorry. Don, yeah, I'm zeroing in on this one aspect here. It caught my attention. Um, Don, what do you think would happen if you did fly a drone at that location up to the elevation of the Blackpool Tower? I want your rationale, your logic here for why you want to do that, please. Well, so because you can probably see the tower will probably start to shrink and start to level out with the mountains behind it. What, what what do you mean start to level out with? So the top of the the tippity top of the deepity deep of the mountains and the top of the uh, tower will be about as equal because you change why, your elevation. Why would they be? Now, why would they your, be equal, sir? your eyes? This observer may be six feet five between there, right? His eyesight is much lower than that tower, right? So he's gonna have to look up at that tower, and then the mountains are way further away. This is, I mean. All right, Don, I'm not going to try to get into the trig of this, even though it's simple, and the diagram's been posted multiple times showing what even children could understand from the side view. Just if you're at 500 feet elevation and the tower is at 500 feet elevation, something in the distance that's higher than 500 feet should appear above the tower. To you is that not correct and depend how far of a distance they are from each other okay why tell me how the really? distance affects it if you can oh. yeah really tell me you, tell you, me the you, effect sir, i'm on, not saying you, it, you there is this, no sir. effect come on i'm asking you, know you to tell me the effect uh because the way light comes into your eyes your perspective the vanishing point so Things you get don't smaller know. further away okay that part's true it will appear to get smaller but if you're at 500 feet and the top of the tower is at 500 feet and you're looking straight ahead your eye line is there from you through the top of the tower at 500 feet things that are taller than 500 feet are always going to remain above that line. Okay, cool. So now we take a drone and try it and see what happens. If Bev is we, listening, that would be awesome. On. There's no, but there's even on the globe, there's no reason in that situation with the heights and distances involved for the mountain to do anything other than appear above the tower. Right. So if he sends a drone up, right, and if that tower's still higher than the mountain, then that will be mind blowing right there. That will, you'll be onto something then. But there's no reason for the mountain to appear down at the level of the tower if you're at the level of the tower. He was at the top of the tower? That's what I'm saying. He's not. This is okay, my, this on the ground. Amazing. On the ground? This is amazing. It's what's not the, amazing, Don. You've made height? up a completely bullshit test that needs to be done for no. completely bullshit reasons. What's the and we're height? trying to point that out to you. There's nothing amazing about it. You've just made shit up. Right? What's the observer height? 
I don't know. You'd have to look at the video. Above sea level, below the top of the tower. Right. So perspective comes into play there, then, doesn't it? Yeah. When you're below something. Yeah. Yeah. And the higher you are above the base of the tower, the ratio favors the mountain in a flat. But, we don't, but you don't know how, how high you are. It, the higher you are, the more it favors the mountain. Remain. Excuse me, Chris. Uh, the yeah. higher you are, the more it would favor the mountain remaining above the tower in your line of sight That's from your Don eye Geosis camera to the tower. I'm not done, Chris. From your camera to the tower to the mountain, the mountain would remain above that line from you to the tower, through the tower, to the top. Extend that line. The mountain would remain. Now, if you're down at sea level, that's the most advantageous for the flat Earth situation here. And the is mountain should to, still be above in your line of sight. Close? Do you understand that? Yes or no? Do you understand that? What are you comparing it to, Curve? Shut up, Don. You're an idiot. Chris, do you understand that? If you want to disagree with me, Chris, go ahead. Be bold. Do so and back up your disagreement with some sort of fucking logic. No, I, I don't disagree. That was what Don Gio I didn't was think you the would. Five Thank you, sir. So you guys actually didn't understand what he was saying. And now, and now that I'm asking questions, you look at the goddamn what triangle Gio was right there in the text chat. So he was. So someone says that they were only 19 feet uh, above sea level, and the tower is. How tall? Like 100 feet? 200 feet? 150 feet somewhere on that. 150 feet. So you're way below the top of the tower. So perspective right. is going to play a big role in this observation. All those calculations Anyways, are done in the presentation. It's so easy to follow. Pers perspective isn't going to shrink a mountain off in the distance that's what three times the distance away and four times uh, the height of the tower and smush it behind it. Yeah, you, so you think, are you are you comparing it to another globe? To account, man. That's his whole observation was based on perspective. Mm. Do you have think you that a refraction can lower the range of the mountain? Chris, have you, you watched the refraction? They even, the, they even went through the refraction. <sighs> they even went. I don't think you watched the full stream, Chris. Have you watched any of it? Do you think the refraction can raise and lower the mass? Have, have you watched any of that video that Ramsey presented on either Curi Curiosity Cats or his own channel? Well, I was on Bobby's channel. Can raise and lower just, the mountains. He, he, have you uh, watched any of that video, Chris? Have you watched yeah, his presentation he, on his argument? He sent a clip. I'm asking no, a question. No, he's, he's just answering a question right now, though. You watch it. No. Do you think that refraction can raise and lower a mountain? Chris, did, did you watch the full stream? Are you, I, you? Can you answer my question? No, that, that, so that means no, you didn't watch it. He so you're just going to sit here and claim refraction and all this other stuff where you didn't even watch well, the screen. I have, and I have exactly evidence. How they broke it down. He's asking us a evidence. question, and it's quite, the answer is no. And if you if you've seen yeah. his, his, the reason why he believes he's compelled by this so much is that he claims that this is this observation is a is a common observation. This is not um this is not right. because it's one a, a one off. Um, observation. This is the same observation Bev had, Bev had made, the same observation in the famous picture of the, the place. Anybody? In any, so any then day. if I can post a picture of a view of a mountain from the same distance and same location and the top is different, you'll change your mind? If you, take a, if you show a, an observation from the same position of the same mountain, it looks yeah. different. Yeah. I'll say refraction had done something there, but it would have to be from the same position of that same uh, observation. So, so then you'll, so then you'll you, then you'll agree that the image we we're talking about that Ranty supposedly changed his mind on would be debunked then. No, the whole yeah, point of this, Chris, is it's an image that's taken, you can take any day. That this, yeah, this Bev, is not something even, that special conditions. Bev even went out there multiple times and said, yeah, this is what it always looks like. So that's what Ranty went off of. Like, wow, if, if there's a, a flat earther telling me that this is, this is what it looks like all the time, I got to take his word for it.
So maybe all the time the conditions are are presented in such a way that it looks like it's like that, but it's really not. No, but about? then they see. That's the thing, Chris. You didn't even watch the stream to see how they went through the all the math, all the trigonometry. The math. See, I don't need math. Yeah, you do need math. Chris. Who cares? No, we we need okay, so we need this, perspective. Yeah, we fun. need refraction. Here, I'll, I gotta go. How are you gonna calculate perspective without mathematics, Chris? How are you gonna how are you going to actually equate what something should look like if you want to invoke perspective without being able to say this is what it should look like? And here's the math behind it. So, show I posted the image for you because you seem to be. This is amazing. Concerned. I can't believe but, uh, no, this is the argument. Like, I don't get it. So send, a drone, Chris, send a drone up. Address my question. Uh, what, what, what is this picture of, uh, Chris? That's uh, uh, from Jay Tolan, two different days, Mount, Mount San Jacinto. Different heights of the of the top of the mountain, same location, this, this, same this distance. Is a different mountain. Sorry, this is a different mountain. No, it's the same mountain, Kosho. You can even see the same buildings, man. Come on, you can see the lot of purple see, lines this, touching this, the same this building. Blackpool? No, that's not Blackpool, Kosho. Sure Basically, this is, no, it's not Blackpool. So Mount Jacinto. One's yeah, taken in one frequency, and the other's taken in a completely different frequency. Yeah, this is not a different observation. Though, spectrum like image. Like it's this is a different it, observation. Yeah, it's a different, it's a different mountain. Yeah, but even, even in this picture, using... there's a ton of mountain missing still. No, there's yeah. not. Yeah. Yes, there is. Uh, no, there isn't. Uh, there's like 10,000 feet of that mountain yeah, missing. Is. Oh, my God. No, it, it, That's it, such it, bull crap. 7,000 feet of that is missing. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. We, I've, I've, I've seen this many times. I've seen yeah. all the... I've seen them all the too. But you're not answering. You're changing the subject. I just showed you a lowering and or raising of the mountain, and so therefore all this is debunked. The image of the range is using the debunked. Can I just can I get a point of really quickly? So I'm trying to answer at least one of my questions today. So Chris, can you tell me how the picture on the left was taken versus how the picture on the right was taken? Because they weren't taken using the same method, were they? What do you mean the same method? They are both use, using a camera. Yeah. No, 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 no. What's the difference between those two images? Why is the coloring in it so different? I don't know. You'll have to look at J. Tolan's So you don't even have the provenance of this picture, and yet you want to claim it's a debunk. Other well, but if you look at the there. land, if you look at the land mass on the uh, the the buildings, the I buildings don't know how the pictures line up. Them. The buildings line up, but the mountain doesn't. Because the, so the buildings. Just... Let me respond. Let me respond. Oh, sorry. The built the buildings are only like I don't know twenty or thirty miles away, maybe. The mountain is 120 miles away, so it's experienced a lot more refraction, which is why you're going to get a different effect on the mountain than you will on the on the buildings. That's well, why I say send no, the no, drone up. That's not, that's not the question I've got, Chris. The question I've got is when you look at the picture on the left, it looks like that's been taken with some it's sort just a of different filter, a different infrared or, or night vision camera, and the one on the the right seems to be taken with the sepia filter. It's just a different so filter, I'm, yeah. I'm, so so that that's a problem i've got because you're now masking different frequencies of light what do we know about different frequencies of light so you're saying that by masking light we can affect a different what way seeing. you're adding to my argument no no so if that light frequency on the one on the left is going to with taking you've excluded all light frequencies that would be pushing it down a little bit then you're going to see the maximum elevation of it and the one on the right where you've got a sepia filter in, if that's going to be bending less in refraction, then it's going to look um, a little bit lower. More, it's less, It's not less, even yes. the same location. Come on. I, I, I mean, mean it, to me, it's not good evidence. I don't think that debunks shit, Chris. It's two blurry images. It, it, that's it's hilarious. still missing about 10,000 feet. I, identify <laughs> the, the buildings relative to the peak, please. 10,000 feet. That's see, funny. See if it's the same location. Let's go and have a look at Mount Jacinto and what the full mountain looks like and then see if it looks like the one in the picture, shall we? I just posted another image comparing a close-up shot of the same mountain and a faraway shot. And, you, and, and, and the reason you can't do these supposed um, comparison shots from different vantage points and different distances, it, it, no, nothing ever fully lines up properly. So you're going to have to deal with a lot of skewing, refraction, perspective, things that you guys just don't aren't taking into account. I, I do have to go, though. See y'all later. When you asked me that originally, <laughs> I told you. Yeah. What? I was talking later about this. Always run. Hey, guys. Chris didn't come in here bringing in the whole Jay Tolan uh, misgiving, getting the size of the mountain wrong shit, yes, did he? Yes, he did.
Yeah, and like Good. you asked, you asked a great question about about the fucking uh, the other observation, and then you guys ran up with him on the Jay Tolan thing for some reason. He was asking about the other. He was asking about the other observation. So my I answer, guess, my answer, in reference to the other observation. I guess everybody forgets about yesterday and how I came up with the flat Earth machine. It's not a flat Earth machine. Let's see if I can say its name again, David. Oh yes, have a go. The inclinometer. Oh dear. The inclinometer. Yeah, okay, which, <laughs> I got a question. I got a question for a glober man. Does land and water change? Yes. Uh, yes. So shouldn't the math change? Why? What do you mean? The should math the math? Change. Well, yeah. I mean, the maths will change. So if I'm looking at, say, the average depth of an estuary, and that changes, then yes, the mathematical description. So when you're will using change. trigonometry, when you're using trigonometry or a protractor, are you 100% accurate? I would say nothing is 100% accurate. There's always a tolerance to a measurement. By definition. Okay, so is it wrong of me to ask Bev to send a drone up equal height of the tower? Well, we've done those observations before, so I would just go back to where we've already done it, so we don't just waste time. Okay, but the same location. Why? If it's going to work in one location, why wouldn't it well, work? Because I know I observe what what will happen. Again, you know, if you've done that observation and says, "Well, what happens if I raise myself to the height of an object? What do things of the distance look like?" Well, that's been done many times. Um, again, using mountains, using other objects that are very similar to the Black Bull Tower. Why do you need to do it again? Because you guys are arguing that this is curvature. Well, we know it's curvature because we've got photos showing that the Earth's curved. And well, we have a drums, very detailed, same and distance, they have a very detailed same analysis height. of the photo, which you guys have. I uh, ignored. Uh, analysis, analysis. This is tough. This is amazing. Why, why do you think that, Don? If, 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 I, if I want to boil a kettle, um, I'll go and switch the kettle on. If someone says, will a kettle boil? And I said, well, you know, as long as the element's okay and I've got electricity coming in and someone flicks the switch, it's going to boil the water. And he goes, well, you haven't, you haven't done it with that particular kettle today. Uh -huh. Now, what's going to change if all the bits of it are working? When I'm Sorry, I've got to stop you there, Drus. We've got a super chat. Um, and this super chat is from Unicorn Laser Eyes for two US dollars. What time was that super chat made at? Oh, have you read it already? No, no, I'm just curious. I'm just, yeah, just it doesn't say the time. It doesn't say the time. So I, I take it it's at 16, just after 16.52 sometimes. That's just been sent, yeah. That's eight minutes ago. Have you read it, yeah? Uh, I just noticed that you read no, them out. No, it's just strange. You, you, you always seem to read them out when, when Dross is halfway through. Yeah, exactly. something. Uh, it's always like you hold on to them and, and wait well, Has it been? Oh, it's, it's all good. Chip chat should get read out. Okay, so it says, uh, so after all that interruption, sorry for that, unicorn laser eyes for US $2. He says, glarpers gonna glarp. Whatever that means. Thank you very much for uh, your super chat there, unicorn laser eyes. Glarpers. Hello, Global Drus. LARPing. That's, anyway. that, that's, that's, that, that, I think that's a bevanism. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, Dross was trying to explain to someone about different kettles. Yes. So it's just the fact, you know, if you if you got something, you've tested it lots and lots of times, you don't have to go back to your first principle and retest everything again. That's that's my point. And I don't know why Don feels that it's absolutely necessary we have to do it here for this particular thing when we can demonstrate that the principle is sound. I think Don's left, by the way. Right. I mean, anyway, you don't have to get a drone. You can just climb up to nearly the top of the tower. So what's the point? Um, what was the name of that Scottish guy that did this? Um, Alki, I think his name was. I'm sure okay. he did. Okay. I'm sure he did a video okay. showing exactly that. And, and exactly, if you send a drone up the same height of the tower, what, how much difference would that make in the, in the, in the mountain in the background? That's how far away it is. But what it said, I don't think it would make much difference at all. <laughs> I think um, it'll be pretty 
I bet you'd be pretty in line with the calculations for curved Earth. What well, what we do know on a flat plane um, where you have no change in elevation, um, if I'm at um, if I'm at forty feet and I'm at looking sightlining along the top of that object, um, anything that's forty one feet high will appear above my eye line, and anything less than forty feet high will appear below my eye line. Correct. And that and that's one of the major problems with, you know, the, the flat earth. It's why it's a dying thing. It's why, you know, we're seeing all these very emotional reactions from people at the moment because they know they have been convinced by snake oil salesmen and liars. Now we just need to get them to come back to the warm embrace of reality in the globe. Do we rather want than flat earth fantasy land? Do we want them? Um, well, I think it's always good to people to to understand what the facts are um, and how to come to a reasonable conclusion on those facts rather than just trying to pull out, oh, well, it could be this or it could be that or we need to do this wacky experiment for that, even though it's been done a hundred times before. Um, you know, this whole genetic fallacy thing, it's a bit so, so weak. So Chris uh, posted that picture in the in the chat with the two mountains. Mm -hmm. The thing that's missing in the in the bottom one is where's the city at? Where's the buildings? Well, I think one was used with a night camera. I think it's a UV camera. No, I mean the one where he has the one where he has the the, the mountain on the top and the bottom. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Oh, that one. Okay. Where's the buildings? Yeah. Again, that's from a very different position. I think he said it's from closer. Much closer, because you can see way more of the bottom of the mountain. But again, he's using different filters. Why is he yeah. got two different filters? We know that light bends based on its you know frequency. Um, you know, it's either infrared bends more or less than ultraviolet. I don't know which way around it is. Um, so we know that's going to have effect, and that was the immediate thing when I saw that thing. Was, hey, why are you excluding out all of these particular frequencies? And my concern is that he's done this specifically to show that um, his UV image is different from his sepia image or whatever type of camera he used to take that but it looks like a night vision shot to me so my concern with chris is he's actually cooked this experiment up and it's not actually real tell me it isn't so a lot of liars on flat earth that's what we have noticed. but it's usually so uh, accurate and precise i don't know why they're all so butthurt i mean randy just he finally found the truth. He won. Well, he found a picture he couldn't explain. Went through it. He was like, "Yeah, this wouldn't work on a flat Earth." He was honest. Yeah, and and as Doctor Bob said yesterday, you know, it takes guts to come out and say you're wrong, especially when you've doubled down that much. Mm. I mean, yep. you know, I don't think I'd double down on anything quite the way that some flat Earthers do, but. You know, and, and well, he has been yeah. very narrow on his admissions. You know, he has just sort of said, in this specific case, I accept that there is no drop. I mean, that seems to be all I've got from what he said. Mm. You know, it's still a base. That you think you live on a basketball? It's freaking. Uh, I don't live on a basketball. I live on a planet. You're on a fucking giant basketball. Just say a spinning basketball. You might as well say God's spinning the earth on his on his on his finger, and I'm living on it. Are you saying that God couldn't do that? No, God could probably do that, but you're definitely not living on a basketball. So, so if God could do that, then it's not impossible to you, is it? Then. Is there is no proof of anything about a ball. What is wrong with you, man? 
Well, you're denying the fact that Dodd can spin the earth on his little finger. He could probably spin it on his little finger. What about it's possible then, isn't it? How does it feel to believe something that you have absolutely no proof of? I don't know. I'm not a flat earther. How, how, how does it yeah, feel? you tell us. Look, how, how does it feel? To every, how, how does it feel that everywhere you look, there's actually glow proof, and you have to deny it? Where is it at? We've been looking for it for years. Look. Where? I'm when looking. I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside right now. I'm looking. When you look, at I'm literature, looking. When you look in books, everything. Every you have to literally close your eyes to everything. I'm outside now. I see no curvature anywhere. And 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 your and your idea of where you think you should see the curve is like a, a third grade idea. Dallas, Dallas, actually, I've got a really serious question for you. Can you see all the bacteria on the back of your hand? There's there's millions of them. Can you see them? Can you feel them moving on your hand? That's what I keep saying to you guys. You believe in vi invisible shit. Nobody <laughs> wants to hear about it. Okay. So, so you don't think there are millions of bacteria on the back of your hand? Thank God for that. Yeah. Just push your hands a lot, yeah? God, I don't sit around dreaming that I, I, I'm, I, I live in, I've got bacteria crawling all over me mm. either. It's insane. Y'all are insane. I live on and a basketball. Funny enough, when we use a microscope, when we culture your skin, guess what? Lots of bacteria. So we say, have direct I'll... evidence that it's there, David, and it's crawling all over you. I live on a giant <laughs> I live hey, on a David, giant David, Why why are you a coming giant... in all fucking butt hurt this way? <laughs> Honestly, dude. What, 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 what happened? What happened that, that you're so fucking butt hurt Monday? Show, show us show us on the globe where Ranty hurt you. Fuck that. Show me bacteria <laughs> on a plum bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next stupid uh, next stupid point that someone wants destroyed by us. I got the Peterbilt's warm enough. You won't have to put up with me long. You better sanitize it, Dave. Hey, don't forget, Dave, that you've not no currency anymore because the dollar should have died, I believe, according to you now nine months ago. Yes, it's not worth much right now. I, they got. Uh, I just went in at Seven Eleven, and you get two sixteen ounce coats now for four dollars. They were thirty nine cents for thirty five years. Oh, what's sixty nine cents in litres? No, no, for the sixteen ounce bottles, two for four dollars. What's sixteen ounce in milliliters? Five hundred milliliters, I think, is about sixteen really? ounces. Somewhere in that. Five ten. Five get, get, get a liter of coke for a pound in uh, farm foods. No, I'm just I'm talking about at the, at, there, the right. at the convenience store. Like, if you want one real quick. Well, see, it's okay, Dave, because in different parts of the world, things cost different prices. So over here, some things are a bit cheaper than you, um, and for other things, are a lot more expensive. Say petrol, for instance, or as you incorrectly call it, gasoline. Um. <laughs> so yeah, so. There are different prices and different prices, and you'll find that those prices will change as different things come in. So you may notice that the things that are made out of aluminium and steel have gone up a lot in costs. That's because Trump put a huge tariff on it, which increased the cost of production for American companies by about 15 to 22 percent. But you don't like details. I'm, I'm just going to listen in and wait on Witcher to get back to kick y'all's ass some more. <laughs> oh, excellent. Dress is here. He likes to talk. So, Dress, what is the evidence for the globe? Do you have any practical... Do Hold you on, have Mark, any uh, practical demonstrations? Hold on. Why are you interrupting uh, me oh and uh, Dress at the moment? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I appreciate that, Chemo. I'm sorry, but yeah. after your conduct with me over the last um, couple of weeks, I'm uh, not going to address any questions from you at well, the moment. What we'd like to but hear please, from you, if you are going please to talk, ask someone else. If you are going to at least speak, uh, could you speak in terms of evidence for the globe, at the very minimal, and uh, provide that to another Again? flat earther who you find more appealing, more friendly, uh, and more cohesive with uh, your line of rhetoric. Other than that, Dress, um, 
We're not really here to socialize, are we? We're here to Kimo. find out if the base is real. Kimo, I got find... two words. Kimo, I got two words. Thanks, Bev. Oh no, Ranty's uh, Kimo, a blow do you believe, do you believe oh, that our one chat was aided in Ranty's wardrobe? I can't believe it. Randy's a, f a globe earther. How I terrible. I know. Do you believe that a lumberjack oh, was aided oh no. in his water blow? Awful that he's gone back to the globe. Do oh, you, Kimo? It's all thanks to Bev. Thanks, Bev. Look what you've done. You made Randy a glober. What are we ever going to do? Okay. So Did look. you debunk my theory that Globe One got to him, Kimo? Oh, yes, yes, that's what it was. Globe One. That's what made Ranty a Globa. Yes? So, what are really? you going to do about it, Kimo? Not... What are we going to do? We're just going to have to accept that Ranty is a Globa now. Uh, it's, it's the, it, was the evidence, it was the evidence that uh, that Bev presented. Oh, 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 of course. That was absolute evidence that Bev presented of the Globe. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It yeah. made, it's made Ranty a Globa. You sound very disappointed, Kima. I'm not doing it with those quotation marks like what um, you know, Austin Powers when he mm. says Globa. Okay. Don't you imagine, know, again, what was don't imagine what, what we're seeing here is um, merely an emotional response from Kimo. He realizes that the jig is up, that the lie is out, that flat Earth has been discredited in all ways possible. And he's got a huge, huge stockpile of snake oil he still needs to sell to people. The heart bleeds. The terrible state of affairs. And he's now a globa. Awful. What are we ever going to do? Make crap up like normal, I would have thought. Well, Come in here and... There's nowhere to go now. Round he is a globa. Just come in and ask the same questions every day. That's all. It's going to, it's going to be. A, I think we're going to need therapy. Does anyone offer therapy? He's now going to keep on talking and pretending he can't hear anything we say. To help me get my head around the fact that Ranty is now um, over. Couldn't give a shit what you do. Can anyone help? Are you just going to mock us? What help do you want, What are you going to do? You're going to help us or just mock us? What help do you want, Kimo? Well, help us get our head around the fact that Ranty is now a Glober. That's no, you said you want help. What help do you want? What do you, what are you offering? Are you offering ridicule? Or... No, I'm asking you what help do you think you need? Just to help us understand that he's a Glober now. <clears throat> Hello, he's now gone into, line, into Lemon Bird, sounding tired at the end of his sentence. No, it's just very... <laughs> well, it's depressing, isn't it? Very depressing. No. That Ranty is now a Glober. I'm not depressed. No, but we would be the flat earthers, you well, think, who, right? Who gives a shit? We've who gives lost a shit? one of our best men to yeah. the seems like, globe. Seems like you guys all you guys all turned on him. Yeah. No, I haven't. Turned, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been asking the flat earthers their opinion of what Ranty's uh, situation. What did they say? Uh, oh, he's brain chill. a little bit and find out why. Chill, why would I be asking all the flat earthers what is your opinion on Ranty? Oh, got to stop is myself. Super level? chats are flying in today. We're doing uh, excellent today for you, uh, Jen. The pockets will be fatter today at least. And uh, this is from Primordial Memories. And Primordial Memories puts in five dollars and says, Find me one flat earther ten years ago. I'll wait. But we can do better than that, uh, Primordial Memories. We've got um, people from the We've got Robotham. He was there uh, at least a hundred years ago. But more than 10 years. Flat Earthers, primordial memories have always been around. They've always been lurking somewhere. Well, well, it's 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 Does anybody it's else it's know of anybody else around Robotham's time who was also a Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going well, on here? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, you didn't get paid for that whoa. question. Whoa. 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 Hold on. Did we do Say Unicorn Loser's eyes? Carpenter. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Whoa. Did we do Unicorn Loser's eyes? Is, um, fucking well, I'm like, to answer the, super the, chat. the super chats here. So, to answer your question here, Primordial Memories, yes, they're um, Flat Earthers more than 10 years ago. Um, as, as Lemon's just about to expand on. Um, but, I mean, I, as far as I know, we've got Robotham and his family and community. And there was various others um, that have written books 
on the Nemo, freezer. did you get unicorn laser eyes in no, fucking lemon, over to you. super chat? What? Nemo. What? Did you not hear me? Did you get his super chat? Did I get the super chat? No, the fucking one above it. Oh. Communication is not happening. Yes, yes, yes. We got the one above it. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Okay. Good, good, good. We're on it. We're Bob the most calm man. Celebrate yeah. that, Kima. We are on it like a BRA bonnet. An actual bonnet. snake oil salesman. Like, like literally sold snake oil. No, what we're doing There's is raising the maximum... Uh, Sorry, Ed, Larry. Sorry, Larry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> So there's a couple flat earthers. You're always going to have flat earthers because what we see is flat and motionless, but we're asked to believe and delude ourselves into believing it's a ball that's moving. So no. you always have flat earthers on some level. We, we've always got morons, so they're always going to be people who think the earth is flat. As long as there are people who love their senses and love the truth, there are always going to be people wondering, hmm, Whatever. is it flat and motionless? Like I said, morons. But the truth also, rolled off of Robop and the way that still... Rainwater rolled mm -hmm. off a of Macintosh slicker. <laughs> well, the thing is, you also have angels that are still um, obedient to God, not the fallen angels. angel demonic pantheon that rebelled, that are around us all the time doing God's will and whispering into our Absolutely. ears the truth as well. <laughs> Anybody know the history so of the Macintosh always going to have flat earthers as long as the spirit of God and truth reigns on this fallen plane. Yeah, Anybody know the history of the Macintosh Slicker in any relation to Robop? No, no. That's why I brought it up. All right. And? Oh, what about his, fam his, his family. Oh. There's someone in his family that was basically responsible for that, though. No. When ah. you say Slicker, do you mean raincoat curved? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they call them over there. Early sports community in uh, what was it, Des Moines or one of those states that was um, uh, basically had curricula that uh, extolled the flat earth. One of those states like Des Moines. I like that. Iowa, one of them. I think it was. I didn't think Des Moines was one of your states. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Really? So what, 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 what do you think? Happy, it's just oozing everywhere. The what did you think of uh, in the US? Sorry, Chris. I, I, have, right. a feel, I have a right. feeling like Lemon's actually talking about one of the private schools that during the early 1900s that was incredibly Christian um, had a teaching in one of their books that said Flat Earth. I, th I feel like that's the story we're about to get in its actuality. Well, Christianity does serve the God of truth, uh, the God of scripture, Yahweh. So that would be, I guess, of a piece with that. There's no fucking God you really... I, I, I thought that was the God of Frank Sinatra. Mm -mm, no, uh, Yahweh, his son is Jesus Christ, yes. yes. Well, he did a song. He did it Yahweh. Yeah. <laughs> I did it, yeah. Oh, my God. Mute Dross. <laughs> I have to say, Dross, that, that was particularly nasty. <laughs> Thank you, it was definitely intentional. <laughs> bit, bit, bit of a stinker, that one, really. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you've been, you've been practicing your dad jokes. It's, it's like being in a lift. You know it's coming. You know you shouldn't do it, but you're going to fucking do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> why are you constantly derailing the subject? Hold on, Kimo. How can you get it back on? Uh, okay. Lemon, what do you think of uh, Arwen's comments that, that, that Ranty sold out to the deep state? <laughs> It could be. I mean, I think they're either Masons, they're paid, or, you know, NASA shills, but I could be wrong. Maybe Ranty just doesn't have an understanding of perspective over a flat plane. Or maybe because he has an understanding of perspective over a flat plane, he can see the problem with that photo. Well, everything sandwiches toward the level of the eye, so you'd expect the mountain to be cut off anyway. It's not the fact that it's cut off that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Have that over a flat plane, yeah. No, 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 we're not talking about the problem that converted Ranty. It's a different thing. We gotta go over this concept of perspective cutting. Perspective can no. cut an object if you're close to a limiting flat surface. No, Why are you trying to highlight your obfuscation here, Lemon? Perspective cutting will need to be researched into. 
compare the top of the mountain to the top of the tower? It's lower. Why? That's not an issue that perspective can, that's not something perspective can do, Lemon. Yeah, if the I love love the observer is lower than the tower in the foreground, no. then the mountain in the background will continue to drop no. toward the eye level no. of the observer. No. Incorrect. Yeah. And so it will be lower no. than the top in the background. This is 2017, 2018 arguments. Draw Have it. you guys watched Life of Sorts video or not? Draw it. I mean, put a coin in front of another object. Put a coin in front of a object in the background. So, Lemon, using the example that everyone likes to use with the with the the train tracks going into the distance, you're arguing that perspective not only will make them meet at the vanishing point, but well before the vanishing point, they will suddenly cross each other and be on the other side from each other. That's what you're going to have to have perspective to do. Hold on, this isn't a vanishing point issue with the top of the tower top of the mountain. This avoids all I know, of that. But, I know, but I see, I'm still telling him that, that he's going to have to have the, cro uh, the tracks crossed. And I know, but that's what he wants. He wants to argue the irrelevant point. So, okay. if you put a coin in front of a car and the car goes further and further away from the coin while you stand still with the coin in front of your face, eventually that car will Hold convert on. and disappear and appear to drop below the coin no, no, no. even. So that's a the tower with the mountain in the background. It's that simple. There's a problem there, Lemon. You take the angle to from your eye to the top of the coin and the angle from your eye to the top of the car at its whatever distance. And then that's going to tell you whether you're going to be able to see the car or not. Do you understand that? Eventually, it will drop below the coin, converge, merge, and disappear. It's the same thing in oh, the eye well, level of the well, it, that's because the car is not tall enough or too far away. Its angle relative to the coin in your eye is not sufficient for you to see it in that case. In the case of the mountain, it is. You p purposely draw a false analogy here because God is not in you. You are a son of perdition. You you follow the father of life. For, for Ranty to... To go with this 2018 argument, it, it just shows that he hasn't watched Life of Shorts video. He I'm needs to sorry, Lemon. The, the evidence is all there. You're a Luciferian cock wrangler. Own it. The Life of Shorts <laughs> video goes over this in depth with all the math. Of course, no, you're not doing it with any the laser. Math, Lemon. You're sodomizing the math. With the laser. And with refraction over a flat plane, you do know that cold um, uh, air layers uh, magnify your viewing distance even over a flat plane. So with <laughs> refraction over a flat plane and perspective, oh, we're more than covered. And with that lie, I'm going to go make some food. The oh, question dear. for Lemon here is, how do you magically make the mountain move further away? Do you have any observation or what's your substantiation for this? It's 81 kilometers away while the tower is, what, uh, 10, 15, 20 kilometers away? So it's further away than the clock tower, so. But to achieve this effect that you're trying to portray of perspective would require the mountain to magically keep moving further away. So how do you do that? As it gets further and further away, it'll approach the eyes of the observer with that refractive cold layer. Hey, giving you more vision, you can see for miles and miles and miles over a flat plane, even though it's perspectively cut. Oh boy, that, that did not, that did that is not the answering question the question whatsoever. The question is, how do you magically make this mountain move from being a fixed distance to an ever-changing distance? Maybe that, that will actually make you answer angle. the question correctly. It's further away than the clock tower in the foreground, but it's, it's not like it's uh, growing and moving further and further away. You're just at a certain angle relative so you to the just clock tower. all this thing that you're trying to pre present for the perspective being changing and establishing the mountain going further down than the tower. Thank you. Hell, you could even do bottle. Bottle has a short lip with a very small circle or a smaller circle toward the lip of the bottle and a fat round base that's normally bigger than the uh, open uh, lip of the bottle. If you put it at just the right angle, the smaller lip in the front will appear bigger than the bigger uh, round base at the bottom if it's at the right angle. Lemon. There you have something yeah, bigger in the background the appearing the to quote unquote the head, lemon. Top 
below hey, something Jimmy, that's taller than the four. Head. The angles are important. The only problem is that the angles that we know to be the case are not possible on the flat Earth. But well, the, the angles, the angles are, um, you're, uh -huh. changing, you're changing the angle drastically for no reason other than you needed to change, and you're blaming it on and you're blaming it on a refractive effect that is not documented. But you need unchanging units. For the math that you're talking about, you need to have a unit that you can count that's unchanging. One apple that stays one apple while you're counting out the bushel of apples. Not an apple that converges, merges, and disappears and is over tower, uh, uh, um, over um, shadowed by a bigger apple that comes in and takes its place, making your um, units useless. The optical geometry that you're trying to bake off of with unchanging units is useless and unfounded because the visual units that you have converge, merge, disappear, and change all over the place. So that's not going to work with tangents, it's not going to work with angles, it's not going to work with anything. The number, of, the number of things I have that I attribute to those units changes, some changes occasionally, but my units stay the same. I don't know what you mean, ever-changing units. Nope, nope. Uh, you're counting because out the bushel of apples, bitch, and which and apple that has merged, merged, and disappeared, and to the same by another visual apple. So that is highly metamorphic and highly highly problematic for the optical geometry that would otherwise demand Please. unchanged constant units. What specific unit is changing? It's scalar the value. Of one foot of visual space. One object that's one foot uh, long in the visual space that has converged, merged, and disappeared. That sort of stuff. So one foot is no always going to be one foot change. regardless of the distance it's at. So can you yeah. give me a unit that's actually changing? That one foot of visual space will converge, merge, disappear, and be toppled over by a bigger visual zone. So now so you're so citing where, where are we using a unit that in... I'm targeting to has converged, merged, and disappeared. What now specific units are we changing in our mathematics, Lemon? The, Maybe the, I need to put it like it, that for you to actually give me a clear, concise, and actually understandable answer that's not woo. A one the foot taller, one of foot taller, no matter how far away it is, Lemon. Now you're just making shit up. It's called logic. Lemon, I don't know if you realize. Reason. I don't know if you realize what you it's argue, Lemon. Logic. But it's you essentially fantasy. are trying to say that an you're essentially trying to say that a degree became something that's not a degree. What <clears> are you actually saying? Has he just pulled a Riley? Is this ten foot wall now not a ten foot wall? Much. Your visual units of space will converge toward the level of the eyes, merge and disappear, That's just like looking down a hallway. You're looking down a 12-foot hallway, six foot up and down from the level of the eyes, it converges, merges, and disappears to a point, and now it is overshadowed by bigger visual space that you're now citing to, making your theodolites yeah, off, your angles off, off. Oh, highly unreliable. <laughs> after long Which unit is actually changing in our mathematics level? That's the second time you asked that question. Watch the video. I can't address because that. You didn't answer, you didn't answer it the first that, time. What he's doing. Which part of the one foot you didn't know how to is apply the no answer to the question. Foot. That means that you don't know how to think about the problem. Watch the video so you have a basis Jordan. to do so. And watch it again. Call me in the morning. Which unit specifically is changing its value in our mass? The specific this unit worry, that he's trying to conflate and off. changing is actual misinterpreting degrees and radians is the same thing. Explicitly, ran, an object off. that is six feet tall occupying one degree being the same as an object that's 12 feet tall occupying that one degree and ignoring that the 12 foot object <laughs> is much further away. That's why it's important to understand the distinction between a radian and a degree. Uh, your problem, Lemon? Dude, I, third time. He, that was the point. He fucked off. Yeah. Once he, let's see, once he said something that stupid, he realized he couldn't claw his way out of it, and we wouldn't let go. He ran. Yeah. But yes, he pulled a Riley, saying that a uh, ten foot wall is no longer ten foot if you put it at X at a. Well, unknown distance. Yes, at X distance. The further away you go, the smaller it gets. The 10-foot wall is now no longer 10-foot wall, which is just fucking ridiculous. What's trying to work out if he was trying to make an argument that stupid? Yeah, I believe he was. And I think I that's think why he, he didn't want to... I don't think he meant to do it, but... 
I don't think he meant to do it. He seemed to be thinking that somehow he could argue that one foot will become, as if one foot being equal to 12 inches will become one foot equal to 8 inches, some bullshit like that. Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to get him to articulate, because obviously nobody had a fucking clue what he meant. You know what's stupid is when you think that one plum bob is not going to be plum to the next plum bob. Oh, because, fuck. Because, you're, because you're plum crazy. If you take a plum bob out, that plum bob is going to hang vertical anywhere you pull it out. Okay. Yep, we agree with that. Yep. Not, yep. That one plum bob will be plum. Yes. In your bio world, those plum bobs are not plum to one another. And it's measured as not being plumb to each other. So that's a measurement we've taken, Dallas, that you disagree with. I'm right, it's even crazier than that. Because he's saying that the two plumb will be plumb to each other. For that to be the case, you would have to have a plumb bomb that is somehow perpendicular to the other plumb bomb. I want to tell you guys. Yeah. Go ahead, David. I got a question for you, but go ahead, man. Uh, oh, David, yeah. you need to fix your microphone uh, a little bit. It's a little bit oh, distorted. Yeah, oh, I came up. No, no, oh, just saying it. David's mic is a little bit distorted. Uh, I, I like it. I like, I like it. it. Yeah. So anyway, David, one question for you. Who lives in a pineapple? Oh, under yeah. <laughs> Come on, David. Answer the, ask the question, Kosho, again. I did ask. I said, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? You know the answer, David. Come on, you can do it. Ah, uh, you just trolled it. Uh, I'm trolling it right now. It doesn't matter where you hang a plumb bob. That plumb bob is going to be a true vertical of where it's at. And you can't tell me that you go from one location to another that these plumb bobs aren't going to be plumb to one another. Why would you believe that? David, you, you just, just said that yourself. It. You just literally said it yourself. You just said if you hang a plumb bob, it's going to be vertical of where you're at. That's true. If you move to somewhere else, it's going to be vertical to that spot. That's true, too. Those are two different locations. One foot showing plumb bobs that are vertical to You're breaking up, David. Would you You're think that up. if you have a plumb ten foot from another plumb bob, those both those plumb bobs are going to be uh, 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 showing a uh, true vertical? Why? They've done the angle measurements. Bob, uh, David, bob, David. Plumb bobs rule this argument. Uh, hold on, let me hang up. Go ahead. So, David, you've been shown that the angle measurements between two between two plumb bobs. When you when you actually get the reciprocal zeniths from it, when you get the reciprocal angles from each other, you found that they're not parallel to each other. There is a deflection. Plum bobs, all plus plum bobs are not parallel to each other. And for you to say plum bobs are not plumb to each other means absolutely nothing. Yeah, Dave, I just looked it up. I didn't want it to be true either, man, but I think he's right. But how can they not be parallel? How is that possible? Because the Earth is flat. Oh, so you're presupposing ahead. that the Earth is curving. That's what no, you No, we're not presupposing. This, no, this, this has been noted by surveyors. Yeah. But on a curveball, they wouldn't be parallel, but on a flat plane, they would be, what you're saying. Exactly, yes. So and we, we find, find that reality, if we, if we find that if we put... If we take two plumb two plumb bobs and we move away, they will always remain parallel over the water. That's not yeah, it actually yeah. really depends on where the force is emanating from. What force? Which force? What force? The force that brings the plumb bob. Oh, the water down. force. The water. <laughs> so if the water. Right you're saying if the water hits one of the plumb bobs, then who, it who said we're doing it over water? What are you talking about, my man? Yeah, yeah well, what force are you talking coming. about? Which force do you mean? The force that brings the plumb bob down. The force that the plumb bob. The force bob that brings down. the plumb bob down. There's no force yeah. that brings sure. the plumb bob down. If there wasn't a force, then the plumb bob would be irrelevant. No, because we can change the medium and change the direction of the plumb bob. Did you know that? How? So if we yeah, put, if we uh, if we fill up the um, the container or whatever we're in with water what? or mercury or any kind of medium, the plumb what bob container? will change direction. 
Yeah. Let's try water. Fill it up with water. We're it depends the, the medium water. kosher. So if we use mercury, for example, with a plumb bob, the, the, the fucking with a plumb bob hanging it in the fucking mercury. It medium. depends on the medium that it's in kosher. That's what we're telling you. No, it doesn't. That is yeah. incorrect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is yeah. incorrect? Yeah. How was it incorrect? Did. Because going from an air medium to mm -hmm. a water medium, mm -hmm. a plumb bob will still actually achieve that effect. In water, yeah, but not in mercury. Do we do it in mercury? Yeah. Well, well, the the very medium, fact that's... that you agree that the the air and water effect. medium change. But we're the medium boys. It makes it and not uh, we deal with different dependent. mediums. Not spiritual mediums. Yeah, just make, you just make, make a uranium plumb bob. He's trying go. to get rid of the effect on the on the plumb bob. That's why he's saying mercury, because he's going to try and come up with something that gets rid of that effect. Well, that's fine. We'll just use a mercury. We'll use a uranium plumb bob. Okay. Okay, and then we just then it's relative. You know, it's relative. Then you just change the object or the medium, and that would dictate the direction. No. Yes. No. No. You are now talking as much bollocks as chemo. We're talking, uh, as we're talking about does on dictation optics. of the direction. Can we dictate the direction? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it already been dictated forces. by the forces acting upon it. What forces? Well, <laughs> you know what force, but you don't actually know what. Word. What relative I'll density disequilibrium is a force now? I'll how is yeah, well, how is relative density disequilibrium a force? How did you work no, that? No, out? I'll, I'll see. Well, it's here. Here, I'll let you. I'll let you use. Don't you dare you say want. relative density disequilibrium again, you little twat! Do you said it's yeah, a force. I'm asking you how relative density disequilibrium is a force. Cunt. Jesus. Chemo, I'll let you use mercury because no, it doesn't no, matter. No, no, Kosho, we're talking about the I density. I just realized it doesn't matter, Kosho, Chemo. Kosho, listen, to, listen clearly. We're talking about a density tower. If we put our plumb bob no, down not. the Chemo. density tower. No, no, we're talking about a plumb bob. Yeah. Right. So if you change the medium of that plumb bob, the direction will change. Yeah, that's no. what I'm trying to say to you, Chemo. So stop this donor. There's no need to keep going to bed. Oh, you floor. want to say something? Chemo. Go ahead. Yeah, Chemo. Okay. You have... Uh, if you have a plumb bob mm -hmm. in any medium, mm -hmm. it's going to go either down or it's going to go up. And it's that the vertical is going to be defined in either case. Not true, but carry bada on. Bing, bada boom. Not true, not, not true, but carry on. It is true, so That's you, not you, true, you but going. carry on. Carry on. Wait, chemo. You want me to respond now, then, or I... what? Or are you going to carry on? No, we want you to stop talking. Well, that, well, would hold be, on. that would be yeah. the end of Flat Earth as far as I'm concerned, because we're not heading in the right direction when it comes to demonstrations, okay? Flat Earthers are talking yeah, you don't poetry do any. with a lot of you guys, dancing around, messing around, and what we want, what would we like? We would like, please, if possible, a practical yeah. demonstration of, obviously, the Earth curving. What's the purpose of the plumb bar, Kimo? So the plumb bobs, as we just outlined, Kosho, if we were on a ball, they wouldn't but be parallel. The they wouldn't be parallel. That's what David is saying. What, no, what's I'm asking the purpose, of, what's the the purpose of the plumb bob? I want to find out if it's parallel. You're not going to answer that. I'll tell you parallel. the answer. Parallel. He's not going to answer you. Find a vertical. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That may be for that, but we want to know if they're parallel. Yes, divine a vertical. So you can, divide a, you can define a vertical. No, because you, you say that's pointing to the center of the ball, yeah? Yeah, it's creating a vertical that intersects the center of the ball. Right? Exactly. The We're not talking about that. We're talking about real world where there's only... Well, there is no direction. Gas is moving in all directions. Did you know that? I think only they're, free to, all, they're free to move in all directions, man. That's true. But they're also being compelled downward by the same force that can build... Well, are downward. you trying to outsmart me? I'm not trying to. Mm -hmm. It's effortless almost. But <laughs> yeah. Nobody has to try. What's happening here, Coach? Yeah, You're trying happen. to say that it gas is... Accident, chemo. You're trying to say, Kosho, that gases do not move in all directions. No, they're free they're to move in all directions, way. yes. Uh, <clears throat> so, Kosho, you try to differentiate between the model and reality. Yes? What happened to the plumb bob? Yes, that's a, yes, Kimo, that's actually the difference in what he's telling you. So we could get because that plumb they, bob, if, if Kosho. They, gas, is moving free, gas, is in, gas is moving freely in all directions mm -hmm. is an assumption of the ideal gas law mm -hmm. in which we know that mm -hmm. not all gases are ideal. So once that is understood, yes, once everyone is here agrees that gases can move in all directions, that should tell us something, that gives us information, that the plumb right. bob can Wait, also, depending on the medium, move in all directions. Let's think. Gases don't move in all directions equally on Earth. Well, that depends on the temperature. I know that. Depends on everything. And no, everything affects it's not just the temperature. What else does it depend on if it's not temperature? Talk to me. Force, their interactions. Oh, sorry, Kosho, slow it down. What was the, What did you say? There's a number of forces that are involved. 
Yeah, but you can't just make forces up, guys. We've got to use reality, not the We're model. Not. Yes? Some situations it is dependent upon temperature, but not all situations. Not all situations. What are the situations where it's not just temperature? Go read a book. Um, there's, what there's the Bible? Yes, we can read the Bible. We can start with Genesis, of course, with the creation. But we're not going to go to the religious books. We're going to go to reality. We're going to go with the practical yeah. demonstrations of what gases, plumb bobs, oh, direction. Ah, oh, so the Bible isn't reality. Thank you. The Bible is faith. I mean, I wasn't there when Adam and Eve were conceived, created in the Garden of Eden. So let's not go there. I didn't no. see when they uh, fell, oh, went into sin. We don't need to go there. Yes, we don't go need to go there. there. What we do need oh, to do yeah. is look at the science that we're told there is a force. Causing the plumb bob um, to be vertical, as you told us, giving us a downward direction. Where is the evidence for that? That's what we're looking for. How about if you take a plumb bob on an airplane? You think that plumb bob, that plumb bob should be leaning the whole time that it's on the plane? It should never be vertical, correct? Why? On your on your ball or on your it's ball earth, right. because the airplane is going around the world, so it would be moving at the it would be fluctuated at a certain degree of, of, of change, now, wouldn't it? Where's the no. bottom of the plane facing? The fuck? The bottom of the plane is always facing the surface. The surface you get in the way of it again. If a plane is going 500 miles an hour, oh, right? Oh, something else now. And it, and it is, say it's going 690, 690 miles an hour. That's, a ten, that's 10 whole degrees in an hour, right? So that plane would have to be curving at that, that whole 10 degrees. So that plumb bob would have to be off 10 degrees of the whole plane flight. I'm pretty and the plane is always right. above the sphere. Every point, every observer is on the top of the sphere. What? Okay, so when do we get to see the curvature in between the two observers? This is the whole god dang point. Where David? is the curvature? Where is the curve? I take two plumb bobs a mile apart, hang them up, there's no curve. I take another plumb bob past that second plumb bob, hang it up, no curve. Can I keep going for a thousand miles and there'll be no curve? David, David, David. How, did you, how did you determine? How did where, you determine is your, where is your curvature? Oh, it's in a picture from NASA. Oh, oh David. David. Brian, David. Brian, David. David, how did you determine that there was no curve between those two plumb bobs? What do you mean? How can you, because the plumb bobs are plumb? How many, how many plumb bobs do I have to put in a line for you to figure out there's no curvature? How many? I'm asking Hold you. On. I'm asking you. How did you compare I'm them, David? You, I'm asking you how you take a plumb bob and prove curvature of the Earth. You don't you use one. Go ahead, say you, you can't. Go ahead. I know you don't use. Bob, because blood you blood absolutely, blood. You, uh, you God damn, have, David. Go ahead. You have no answers. What does it feel like to have no answers other than blah, 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 blah? <laughs> we have the answers. You just keep you over talking. Know, David. You I keep over talking the answer. I want a simple David, question. David, let Brian say his answer because I got, I, got, I got an idea, man. Let Brian say his answer. Where is, where is the curve? I fucking, I fucking give up. He's not going to let me say it. Just go What's ahead, Coach Joe. David, come on, man. But David, you know I'm getting that uh, GPS RTK. You know, you live close to me, right? I was going to go to Dallas and do this test, right? Oh, boy. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we could do, David, we get super long plumb bobs. Let's say ten meter long plumb bobs, some shit like that. If we were to measure, uh, let's say we made them, I don't know, three miles apart or something. Let's say five miles apart. It doesn't matter how far apart. If we were to measure the top of those plumb bobs the point at the top of those plumb bombs to the point at the other top of the plumb bombs and we're to measure the point at the bottom of the plumb bomb and the point to the other bottom of the plumb bomb on a flat earth if those are parallel those should be the uh, those straight lines should be equal distance right but if it were obviously if it was on a globe those would be uh they'd be somewhat uh closer the bottom of the plumb bomb should be somewhat they should be pointed towards each other right so that'd be a good test using plumb bobs to see if there's a curvature there or not. Great test. Are you going three miles one thirtieth of a degree? <laughs> so you, you, have, you have you have a machine called an inclinometer that'll tell you how tall something in the distance is, right? Yeah, that you can measure, This is the problem. You guys have no measurements of the Earth vertically. That's what we're going to be doing, David, with the GPS RTK. 
We don't need. Oh, we don't need. What the hell does David think an elevation map? What does he think a topographical map is? What does he think a, sur a survey ordinance map is? What the fuck? Okay, so there's no curvature. If you can measure how tall something <laughs> is from, you got to remember the all your curve is in the ocean. There is no curve on land because all the land is above water. Fuck off, David. Now you're doing this on purpose. You're not even. <laughs> how the heck does that work? Follow David's not serious. We all can hear him laughing, right? If all the David, land, if all, David, if you all jump, land, you jump the shark. Stop it! You have jumped the shark. The not land, even chemo can save your ass now. If all the land, if all Sorry, the David. land, if all the land is above water, and the water is at where sea level is, all the curvature would have to be on the water. That's true. No. Hey, um, how long do you think those plumb bobs would have to be uh, to get a reasonable? Difference. Do you think ten meters would be a long enough plumb bob? You take a you take a you take an inclinometer which is hooked to a plumb bob. That's how you do it. These inclinometers tell you the incline of a of a situation using a plumb bob. You can either look at it like you're an incline or a decline. That's all you, you gotta understand. All of your on your earth, everything is declining around you. Hey Dave, would you like to take an inclinomot, an inclinometer, uh, and then uh, take it to the beach, and point towards the horizon? Yeah, depend. Is you got to remember there is you're not at eye level with the you're, the it's three degrees off. It's just like in an airplane they have the true horizon and then they have the other horizon which is in their uh their uh which is three degrees off when you're in an airplane. Three degrees off of what? Off of true, off the true horizon. You're, you're talking about an angle of attack, right? Yes, you've got your three degrees. You're, you're, you're set up three degrees above the horizon on your level, on your level line. And an airplane even. And why do airplanes, one in the distance that's lower than you, look like it's higher than you? <laughs> because it's a globe. That's not because... That's well, not no, because that's He's got it backwards anyway. Yeah, it does. But yeah, planes that are higher than you look lower than you from the distance. Yeah, that's because you're yeah, low. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, but David, why would you ask that question? With that? <laughs> that would, that's the question you would ask a flat earther. All right, I'll be back. Oh, so you did terrible on Babs, bro. I listened to Babs. I don't know when you did that. I, I could tell you. Yeah, I do. You were, go ahead, go ahead and remind, go ahead and remind me the um what point Bev had over me. I can, I can tell you right. were. Yeah. I could tell you were showing him the the diagram that I presented on Brandon's that one night about the drop and the and the no. and the hump. Yes, you are. No, no, no. Are you talking about the one you that you present? The, the horse, the horizontal, and the you you showed them that on on uh, on uh, Brandon's. The one yeah, I made I with the them. level with the leveler and the earth, and there's like a the, horizontal the drop in the hump with the water levels and the line no, no, from no. two to six. Yeah, yeah, two to six. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed him that one. Yeah. Yeah, you are shit at explaining things to people. Yeah, you're shit. You shit at the whole thing, man. So, anyway, listen. Uh, you need me to exp go around, walk around with you, and explain everything you're trying to say to people. Dude, Bev doesn't shut the fuck up. Okay. Bev made himself look like an idiot the whole time, and Bev knows it. He contradicted. You listened to the whole thing, huh? You heard how we kind of I don't. It was in my sleep. It, I was like in and out. Don't fucking say you're fucking making uh, judgments on it, man. I'm just saying, bro. You didn't. Did you? Did you finally get explain that there's the drop and the hump thing? Both happen all in the same one model. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't say anything about drop or hump. I didn't say either of those terms. Uh, I, I told them about how horizontal, how those, um, how I told them how a water level and an auto level are they have two different purposes, right? And that a water level is generally to uh, define equal elevation between um, different places. And Coach, the auto level is are you on like a mission yeah. to help the flat hearted people? No. You're on a mission to. Never mind, I'm not going to say it. But um, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to say it. But um, it's no, okay. I, I can take it. Well, it's not even, it's, it, 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 it's not even, um, yeah, it, it, don't worry about it. <clears throat> but no, I'm not on a mission to save any flat tarts. You sound like Bev is what you sound like, man. I, I, I literally was going through, I was bored in here, 
I saw there's people in there. I went in there and just listened. I talked to him. He acts like I had a mission when I went in there. I got sent by somebody or something like that. <clears throat> I just went in there to listen. He asked like a thousand questions. He gets stuck answering them. All right, I got, yes, I got one more. I got one more. Mission. I got just one more bad. question. Well, even, even Peyton Asher Shill said something about that yesterday, but you know, two people can be wrong, and it's not that big of a you know. It's, all right, if you're gonna, if you're gonna map, if you're gonna map a cave, right? You're gonna go down. You and you're what? What are you gonna use to map the inside of a cave? A map? No, you're gonna use an inclinometer. A light oh, bulb. Yeah. yeah. So when you go down in a cave, you have no, you 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 don't know how tall something is or anything like that. How are you gonna map it? Do you would do the same with the top of the world? What you use, like measuring tape and stuff like that? No, you no, use you, a laser. You, 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 you find where the, your where plum is is all you got to do. A plum bob, a vertical, a true vertical measurement is all you need to do to measure the curvature of the Earth. And you guys well, have no clue. They're, they're scared because, of the true vertical, Dave. I know they're scared of the true vertical because that's why when you start doing any research on it, the Earth's never been measured with, by true vertical. Yeah, nobody we aren't scared of it. We actually happen to mention it repeatedly, which is that plumb bobs uh, at distant locations, two of them, they're not parallel with each other, and these have been measured. Yeah, this is, this is no. exactly what we can test, David. We can test that exact idea because uh, yeah, on a flat earth, to... they should be parallel. Well, I'll just show anytime you, anytime, you try, anytime you try to explain to David how you measure that two plumb bobs are not parallel to each other, he goes full ape shit and yells over top of you that you can't. Well, you can, dude. With the GPS RTK, man, you get exact positions. You can make a straight line. You can measure the distance between two points at the top and two points at the bottom of those plumb bottoms. And those two distances should be exactly the same if it's a, if it's if they're parallel. I'll be back. I'm walking in somewhere. I'm still not buy later, Dave. I'm still not buying this whole ranty thing. I mean, this whole shit doesn't add up at all in any way, shape, or form. It's uh, I know it's highly really, suspicious. I know, I'm getting the I'm getting the chills too. I'm like something something's about to happen. Like they're playing like, a trick on us for some reason. Like a like he sees this picture. Some time amount of time goes by. Then he goes on Brain and Show, rips the globe, and then 12 hours later, he's a glober. What kind of and blames it on and man. blames it. Hold on, and blames it on a flat earther that he's got beef with. He doesn't blame it on Bev. He blamed it on Bev. He, he, blame it on Bev. Bev. he thanked Bev for uh, the observation or for the picture or whatever, but he's not saying, "Hey, uh, Bev's well, wrong." He, no, he highly implied that Bev had this was. Bev. Bev's fault and Bev had something to do with it. But none of us actually think that. Yeah. He didn't apply that at all. It's it's not it's not it's been no secret that he and Bev have not gotten along. Yeah, and he well, heavily implied that this was Bev's friend. fault that he's going back to the globe. Also, Ranty lives was, right down the road. That that? Watch the watch the video, dude. Also, he lives right down the road from this observation, and he's the he's our cameraman, basically. He was our cameraman for years. But he's using Bev as an independent verifier, isn't he? I think his scheme would be, man. Like, what would the whole plan? Why would they be? Um, what game would he be doing this for? More views? Oh, uh, maybe he's trying to figure out who's stupid and who's not. <laughs> That's his test. He wants to figure out who's stupid, who's not. So he's he's, uh, he's pretending to be a glover for a whole minute. Yeah, he put Brian Mavitt on the stupid list. Maybe he's like, maybe he's like, let me see what idiots actually believe that I turned to be a Glover off of one picture. No, he's and, gonna gonna, and he's going to put him on the dumb shit list. I think it was Bob just the picture or the measurements and the analysis that went with it. Yeah. And the he analysis. And the and the analysis. And was like, oh, I'm going to be a Glover. And the now. measurements and the analysis. Jeremy, he's sober, brother. Just concede. Who's going to be a, a Glover? Uh, who's going to flip after uh, Ranty? I can guarantee it. I'll put money on it right now. 
It's going to be fucking fire. Yeah, Jose, Jose uh-huh. didn't say the same shit about you. It's like, oh, Jose didn't actually go back. This is just one of his jokes. Yes, yes. Uh, um, a bunch of people say like, ah, Jose is just trolling. He's just whatever infiltrating the, the globe side now. Bullshit. We all they know, just can't we all accept know. it. We all know Jose is just in it for the money. That's not the point. Randy is obviously not in it for the money. He gave a show up that was making money. So this is something else. Yeah, but Jose didn't switch sides for the money, man. It wasn't. It wasn't until after he was already switched that he had the idea to do the show. And the money, the money Jose gets, and I hate to say it, Jose, it's not what you. It's not the amount that you deserve for the entertainment you put together. But oh yeah, he's very little. A few hundred dollars a month at the end of the day, and I got a hustle to get a few super chats. You know, like yeah, it's all right, man. <laughs> That's because those yeah. globers don't say nothing. Those globers will sit there and ruin the show by not talking. You need people on your show that, that will actually talk and entertain people. See, that's why I suggest that it's all for entertainment and popularity and variety. Because he could have done these observations and just quietly gone away, but he didn't. Hey, that's a great idea, Jeremy. We should one v one on Jose's today. Bro, I you're not worth yeah. making a time slot for, bro. Hey, hey, you just said you need more global to talk. I'll talk. I got a lot of stuff. Come on, freestyle. Come find me somewhere, bro. You're not worth making a time I find slot you everywhere. for. I've been around for a year in the same you spot. Run everywhere. Oh, you can do I've been Jose's around for a year and a half in the same spot. Hey, I've been right here. Or what? Oh. But right here for 10 out 10, 12 minutes. I am scheduled. In one hour, we'll be live. We'll be solid. Just the two of you. Let's do it. One hour for now. You said, you said he was a pussy. In mind. one hour, I'll be on my way to work. Shut up, Pure, you old bitch ass, whiny bitch ass. Sound like your mom. Uh, Excuses are like assholes. Sound, sound like, like your mom. Uh, uh, yeah, that's you good. just that's said good. you're on 10 you, hours a day. So you'll be there uh, in an hour, right? Yeah, in an hour, I'll be on my way to work, picking picking somebody up to go to work and going into work. Uh, I'll be in front of a whole bunch of people and I'm not able to do this. The point is, you're not worth. The point is, you're not the worth making a time place. slot for. You're no, you're nobody. Who are you? All right, guys, I've heard you guys, talk guys. like calm three it down, times. Calm it down, calm it down. Let's not. I've heard you talk insults. like three times. You ain't nobody. So Let's not do it. An insult when it is. You're some flat earther that turned into a glober. And call somebody a bitch. Then you sure, better be able to. Why are you to... jumping into this? Shut your bitch ass up. Because I can. You shut up. Says the dude. bitch that's ducking shot. Why are you jumping your All bitch ass into you. this? Everyone, stop it. If you want to have a discussion with Sean, Sean, if y'all want to do that, don't give reasons. Don't give reasons for or against. If you want to make it happen. Send a message to Jose. I don't care. He get He's back nobody. With you. Get a, just let me finish. Whether or not you decide to do it or not, let's not just have this out in the main chat like this. Please. No, if you want to talk to me, come, come fuck oh, with me, bro. I'll be on Brandon's I'll be here all day. I'll be on Brandon's I'll be in here on purpose. I'll be in here all day. I'll be in Brandon's after. And after that, well, we'll be in after show. Maybe I'll come back here. Who knows? Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll log he'll be, off. He'll, he'll be here still calling Sean a bitch and still ducking him. But then once I say you, you ain't worth I said you're a bitch. Right. Yeah, sure Jeremy it. might be afraid of Chonji. Jeremy really might yeah, be afraid of Chonji. Yeah, that's what it is. I've heard him talk like, oh, yeah. this is like the fourth time I've heard him talk. He's nobody. That's not cool to just talk like that either. A, you lose a lot of your class. <laughs> yeah. And by you, by Jeremy, Jeremy, by you saying, saying like Chonji, by you saying, Jeremy, that you never heard Chonji speaking and he's a nobody, that makes you a rookie, a newbie, a nobody yourself because Chonji is a recognized name. So you are the rookie and the newbie and the nobody, Jeremy, in that case. You're just lucky that I even acknowledge your existence. I think he's just taken aback a little bit by the the e- eagerness. It is. It does seem a little uh, over eager, but also he's running around Discord talking about I'm ducking him and he can't find me nowhere on some gay shit, bro. You ain't worth making a time slot for him. Okay? I couldn't find you. I just said every time I did, you ran and had excuses. Ran where? You see me running, bro? To be fair, Sean, he doesn't even check DMs. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't. we do. You make every excuse not to fucking. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, have a fucking DMs, DMs, Coco. Coco. This is all shut, your shut your bitch You're ass up. You're, You're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. I'm not going to call him out wherever the fuck I want. 
Stay tuned to find out who is the bitch. <laughs> Mr. You want to talk to me? Come, come fuck with me. I'm not making a time slot for you. You ain't that special. Like I said, I've only heard you talk a few times, so you ain't really that important or recognized. Oh, or that come on, don't be s- silly, that's Jeremy. Worth, that's even worse. You shouldn't than be undermining for, your opponent like that. You should just come to a reasonable arrangement. Bro, I want to make a time slot. Debate. Kosho, and I actually like Kosho. So wow. what makes Sean G, the guy I've heard talk for but times, then, think I'm going to make a time But then you're a waste of time, aren't you, Jeremy? If that's how you're going to be. No, you're not being very reasonable. Sean G is a waste of my time. That, that's your not own problem, Jeremy, Kosho. because you are a newbie, and you don't know who Sean G is. It would be really cool, because people know Sean G. If you don't know him, that's a you issue, bro. Yeah, I know who he is. He's talked about four or five times in the year and a half I've been here. He's essentially, uh, you know, a no-name. Right. Exactly, you are a rookie, uh, Jeremy. Yeah, thanks. Well, also, you know, he, he hasn't even made time for Gem's show. So, you know, he, he's a busy guy. He works. He stays, hangs out with his family. He's got a wife. Keep, keep running around Talk talking shit like I'm scared, though, and I'm ducking you, you faggot. Sure, if you talk so much shit, though, it kind of, like, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to defend you. <laughs> because that's what we see you do. He comes in, he acknowledges you, he tells you to fucking one be one and you run off to Brandon's or come back here or go over to fucking Jose's. That's what you do. You are ducking. When did that happen? You fucking pussy. Name the date that happened. Every day. Every time. Every day for the past five days. It sounded like Pierre just said that he challenged Sean to a one v one. What happened? No, maybe I misheard what he said. Pure doesn't know what the fuck he's saying. He's lost as usual. Pure knows exactly what he's saying. Every time I come into a voice chat and I call you out on 1v1, you give me bullshit reasons and say no. And over at Jose's, I went over there, got in the voice chat, and you went silent. Well, I'm a busy guy. I don't make... Yeah, but that's not true, is it, Jeremy? Don't act like you're Spiral busy. Away. I don't know why Pure is even... Out of your, your own mouth, you said you're here two hours a day. All you want to do is, like, get in arguments with people and fight like a bitch. Hey, hey, you know, insults, insults aside... I call, I call out bullshit where it is. Yeah, insults right. aside, though, Jeremy did offer uh, his supposed schedule... He really is at um, Brandon's. You know, if, you did, if you went to Brandon's, you probably would have a window. It's happened, no, it's happened over at Brandon's too. I even, I have even messaged Brandon, told him I called Jeremy out, and I wanted a one v one on his show. And Brandon said he'll see what he can do. Uh, no, that's, like, if, that's like, like me there calling. And just it, it, it would that's be. That's like me calling. That's really like me call, That's like me calling like. Uh, Mayweather out or Jordan for a one on one or something. Like, who, who am I to those guys? <laughs> no, not one at all, Jeremy. You are denied having an ad hoc debate with Sean and you also refuse to schedule one with him. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, he's, it's not okay. worth making a time slot for. I wouldn't even make a time slot for Kosho and I So like you Kosho. are making no way to have this debate, then, are you? You are the one who's stepping away from it. If the he wants one to talk to me, if he, if running he away. wants to talk to me, he knows where I am and he can come talk to me. And I'm saying that he's already he's done that. And you have said, no, you won't do it there and then. So then he's saying, okay, yeah, well, happened. then let's schedule something. And you say, no, he's not worth that. Sean so you don't want to engage with him at all. Sean but you won't G, say that. Sean G has never showed up somewhere. And I was like, oh, shit. Sean G's here. I got to go. And I fucking shut the phone off and left. That's literally never happened. Get That's like I really think that you are afraid of Sean G, Jeremy. Not yeah, you are afraid. Jose. Get real, will you? Grow up. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm getting out of here. Is that he's fucking afraid. He he talks to him. Can it be Coach done Sean right here, here, right now? He sat here and said the other day, he's here 10 hours a day. Fucking in the trenches. Now Sean's here that's once right. the fucking 1v1 and he's fucking making every excuse. That's a fucking pussy. That's a coward. Can it be done right here, right now? Much time you got right now, Jeremy? I don't have much time right now. I'm about to leave to pick this guy up for work, so he's going to be in the car with me the whole time. But you hear ten hours a day all day, driving, <laughs> driving through ter- terrain where I don't, don't get good coverage. 
package and it's going to be laggy. And, oh, right now, yeah. and I got to go into work and I'm going to be around all the co workers. I know, dude, but I'm really saying really. right now to then, do you have 10 minutes right now? Maybe this, this is only going to take 10 minutes. Who knows? Maybe five minutes. Yeah, what do you even want to talk about? Wait, wait, what is the motion of this debate? Anywhere. I don't know you. He actually he has had, had no time to talk to me over the past year. I've been right here, bro. Well, here's well, that's because you could have yep. talked about well, well, exactly what it would be about. The last two times we've had a conversation, you told me how New Einstein surpa- or, or throws out Newton. And I tried to explain to you how a few times, and you wouldn't listen. That and is it, awesome. would, it would take less than 10 minutes, Jeremy. Well, everybody, he's here right now. He says he's got a couple minutes. Let me see what's going on. Just mute the room, Coach. I mean, like I said, everybody, everybody can be respectful. Just, you know, obviously Sean was asking him a few questions. And so does everybody just recognize that? Do you need all, all the quotes and shit? I'd have to look, look all, get all my quotes up. I think it'll be fair. This is an ad hoc on the spot thing. So. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I got tons really of think... quotes saying uh, Einstein superseded Newton and. Uh, Newton's just outdated shit. It's two two different things. One of them's mass attracting mass. The other one is space time bending. We know mass doesn't attract so, mass, and they know that it's due to the space time bending. So what you're totally, saying it is doesn't that, even happen in the same geometry. So Newton isn't used at all. I didn't say that. I'm just saying it's two to, two different things. Well, no, no. You said that Einstein. Got rid of Newton. It's not. It's outdated. It's not you. That's what you just said. You and Rachel, you figured it out, man. Hold on, guys. Hold on. You rubbed your two brain cells together. Yeah, I mean Newton's <laughs> universal law of gravitation isn't even universal. It doesn't even work anywhere. Did you hear what Andrea Gez, twenty twenty Nobel Physics Prize winner, uh, said about it? Sean. Okay, so you're saying it's not being used. I just asked you a simple question: Is Newton? Is it equations, mass, tracks mass, it being a force, does it, is it still used today? You can use the equation to figure stuff out on Earth in certain, certain spots. It doesn't work everywhere, though, because it's not a real law, because it's not universal. Okay, so in that case, how is it outdated? How is it not used like you claimed it wasn't a minute ago? Bro, it's super C. I got, I got uh, quotes from Shanker and, and, and Feynman. He's got and quotes, a slew of other dude. people. It's, it's been superseded. Dude. It's out. It's outdated. Superseded. Sherry. Okay, we'll go over this one more time. You say it's superseded, and which means Newton is outdated and not used. We just. I just asked you a simple question of: Is it still used? And you said, Yeah, you can still use it on the surface of Earth. So, is it used or not? I already told you, yeah. People, people can use it on Earth. What's, what's the problem? Okay. Why do you keep asking me so the same question you, over yeah. and over again? Because you keep saying it superseded Newton. So you do understand that when something is superseded, it doesn't mean that it's thrown out or not used or wrong. You understand that, right? No, it's been superseded for sure. Okay, so we, we've already established, Andrea we've already established that superseding something doesn't mean it's not used. It's thrown out or wrong, correct? You've established that. So you can't say it was superseded by Einstein like that means anything. It doesn't mean it was thrown out. It doesn't mean it was wrong and it's not used. You've just established that. You've said it. So you can't say Einstein superseded it, which means that it's not real. Is the correct? current understanding of is the current understanding of gravity that mass attracts mass or it's space time bending? Yes. No, that wasn't a that wasn't a yes or no question. No, no, it's literally a yes to both. One explains one thing, another explains. So you're telling else. me you still think that the mass is attracting the mass? That's why things go together is because the mass is attracted to the other mass. General relativity, you understand that it has to use gravity as a force to have come up with general relativity. You understand that, right? There is something that spins the fabric of space, a mass. So yes, mass does attract mass, even in general relativity. Oh, you're so you're so far off, bro. Really? What have I said that was off? 
Yeah, he's so far off. It's not mass attracting mass. They know this. No, no. Well, how is it not mass attract mass? It's having to because it's space that time. Shows, bending. That shows the current understanding. The current okay. understanding is space time bending. What bends the fabric of space? What warps it? What makes that the fabric move? What is it? What happens? Well, they say it's a mass bending the space time. Okay, so what you're telling me is, is that a force is acted on space time to make this warping, right? A force is acted? No. You put the mass inside of anywhere, I guess, and the space time bends, which causes the, the masses to go towards each other. It's not the mass attracting the mass. A mass spooky acted as a force. That. They already know that doesn't happen. Acted as a force is what bends space time the fabric of space. We understand that. You've already established that. We have also established that Newton not even what thrown I out. See. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't it. we also establish that Newton wasn't thrown out? Yeah, they still use it for calculations here on Earth. I mean, a lot of places okay. it doesn't Perfect. work. But... Okay, that, so then what is your understanding of what superseding something is? It actually doesn't work everywhere on Earth, neither does Einstein's. What is your understanding of the term superseding? What does that what does that mean? Replaced. The current okay, understanding so and the current model of of gravity is Einstein, not Newton. Okay. So when you say replaced, does that mean not used anymore? The current listen, the current understanding of space of gravity is space time bending, not Newton's. Do you understand that? No, no, I understand what you're trying to say, but I ask you a simple question. You do understand that superseding does not mean is not used or wrong. It right? means it's not the current understanding of, of gravity anymore. Do you understand that, gra if that not gravity? The current understanding, if it's not the current understanding of gravity, then why is it still used? And how is it still used correctly? They're they're only using the formula in certain situations here on Earth, not even everywhere on Earth, but that's another case. But uh, the current understanding okay. of gravity is space time bending, not mass attracting okay. mass, spooky action at a if, if that is the case, Jeremy, is that not the case? Why is it still case? why is it still used and used correctly? How does it still work? Do you not understand that everyone believes that it's Einstein's and not Newton's gravity that's attracting stuff? Okay, do you think that superseding means Why are you it's not, not using any of my questions? Because you're not answering mine. And it's very you're clear. The stuff you're, you're really saying true. is basically every, you are answering. Every time I ask you a question, you never answer it. Because what you're asking me is an avoidance of my, my question. It's pretty simple. You've already said that, yes, they use Newton's equations. Force and gravity as a force. Okay, sure. so it's now still used. To, they still okay. use Newton's equations it's in certain still, circumstances on Earth. Now it's, it's time to answer my question. Correctly, it's still used. Now correctly. it's time to answer my question. Do you understand that gravity? The yes, gravity I completely understand that, but I need you to answer this question. You understand that it's still used and it is correct. Newton's? No, it's not correct in all circumstances. Okay. No. So then, when they use it to say launch rockets or say mass attract mass, do tests like Cavendish. How is that wrong? Because what we ex we accept to, uh, expect to happen happens. We're talking about the cause of the effect. They know it's not the mass attracting right. the mass. You've already and said, it's, it's the, and that it's the you've already said that they use Newton uh, on the surface of Earth, terrible. right? So if they use Newton on the, on the surface of Earth. That means it still works and it's still correct. Well, I think that was a fantastic showing our uh, debaters. It's just boring. He's I'm got like, nothing besides that one little thing. I, mean, I gotta say, you both made you both made good points. You both also made pretty bad points too. But I think all in all, 
What a bad point. It's pretty clear. Just because I, they say Einstein superseded Newton doesn't mean it's not used or not correct. Well, actually, you make good points, Sean. The only thing is I, um, I, I don't think I would have said uh, he needs it to be a force and that kind of stuff because um, he does have the equivalence principle, which says that you can uh, – it's indistinguishable from a force. Like you can, you can think of it that way for calculations. Of, uh, yeah, things, that's but, a part of it. Yeah, but he, I think he describes it as uh, just the curvature of space-time. Oh no 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 no! I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it as he uses it that way. But in to come up with general relativity, he still had to look at gravity as a force that is is something that bends the space time. It has something has to bend space time, and he, to begin with general relativity, he had to look at it that way. And he states that. It's all right. Just nit, nitpicking fucking words that were used, and 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 that's what flat earthers will do, but. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't think it, I don't think he says that mass is a force that bends space time. Using it as the mass that bends space time. Something that mass is a force acting on space time. I never heard of Chunji before. Who is this Chunji to speak about? Come on, man. This is Sean G, man. He found a fucking mammoth in his backyard. Oh, what's up, party people? Okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> I tried to tell somebody about that recently, Sean. I forgot who I was talking to. I, I think it was on Brennan's show because we were talking about like fossils or some shit. I was like, yeah, dude, Sean G found a fucking mammoth. Well, a dude he was working with found a mammoth in, uh, on his work site. So, Jeremy, have we got uh, gravity paper. causing gravity again? Uh oh, shouty time. Boom. Hey.